Hello, everyone. How are we doing today? I hope we're well. Um, we are, of course, starting uh, on a run today. Um, which is now a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. <laughs> but overall, I think it's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> we are going to uh, meet a starion for this as well. Because uh, I, feel, I feel pretty confident we can get it done with him. So, we're going to also change a few people around. Gail is going to become a cleric of Mistra today. <laughs> so I kind of like still keeping it a little bit lore friendly, but also changing things up a little bit. So, we'll see. <laughs> it is going to be a ride. There might be a couple of, especially later on, fun surprise mods popping up. That'll be mostly a visual thing. <laughs> but I'm not going to say much about those. I just want it to be a surprise when it happens. Um, but yeah, so so unlike the story runs, we there, there's a couple of things we're going to be skipping. So it's probably going to be shorter than our like origin story runs. Um, however, we'll probably do Shadow Hearts on the same difficulty too. Just if we get a wipe, we'll continue. Whereas with this run, we're going to we're going to keep going until we get that golden dice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the aim here is we're, we're going we're going for the golden dice. All right, let's see who we got in chat today. We got Hachi, Bulbasaur, Lena, uh, Asama, Draco, Metallic, I Hope, Captain Two, Laudable, Basil, Kara, also battling their own honor mode right now too. <laughs> we got Wild Sir. Uh, Alex, Jason, God, Darby, Kenny, who just woke up, Tay, Jason, Nerd, Slash, Jesse, welcome, welcome. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, some y'all starring's coming through today. <laughs> On a starry, and oh, I like that. So I'm gonna call it Mike. <laughs> um, I haven't had a wipe yet. Uh, but I did do a couple of different, thank you, subtitles. I haven't had a wife yet. Okay. Um, I haven't had a wife yet, but I did start a few different ones with different characters and they all rolled a one at the beginning, so. <laughs> we'll see if that happens this time or not. I might actually be more worried if we don't roll the one at this point at the start, if I'm being honest. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna be mostly lurking and oh you got a paper to write for class. You got this. Good luck. <laughs> we'll be your background uh, music. Uh hey Alt, hope you're doing well. Oh you too. How many people are working on their honor runs right now? I'm so curious. I may have exhausted my crit fails for the first roll, which may mean it comes later, which could be bad. The thing about honor mode, so for those who don't know, honor mode, basically we're in a permadeath situation. We get a group wipe, that's it, we're out. No golden dice. So we have to start again. If one person dies, it's fine. It's if the whole group wipe that we're, we're, we're in trouble. Um, so that's what we, we need to avoid the best we can. Um, group plan, we're gonna have a star in on his uh, double crossbow pew pew build. Uh, we're gonna have Gale as a cleric of Mistra. We're gonna go life because it's just the best. Uh, we're going to have Karlak as a paladin fighter and uh, we're gonna have a monk too. Might be Lazel to start with. Could change into uh, Minfara or Halson or Minsklater. <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna be the, the group setup. I'm thinking with the monk and the rogue, we're going to have a lot of diff a lot of turns at the start, and we're gonna have very good initiative. So it seems it worked for me before. I feel like it could work now. However, on that previous test run, I had a fighter paladin and a barbarian fighter. I didn't change Gale into a monk until later. So this it could be risky. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes, so, and, um, we're just gonna pray for, and hope for the best. Hey, Ali, hope you're doing well. Welcome. Yes, the Starion's back today. <laughs> you're running free monks. 
Oh wow, how does how does free monks work? Because the problem with running more than one is then the gear. Because even with the even with the gloom stalker and the monk, gear is split a little bit. I'm having to make some adjustments to their builds because obviously gear is limited. So I'm curious how you go, but I guess you just have to do it with completely different types of monks, right? Uh, we're gonna go away the open hand, the strength. I'm gonna probably give him those strength gloves at act free. Mmm. That's kind of the plan. But we're gonna use the potions. Um. And keep the decks high. But yeah, juggling, juggling the gear is, is the hardest, yeah. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Hope you're well. Imagine Baldur's Gate meets Persona. I've never played Persona. <laughs> honor mode on Divinity. Oh, is there honor mode on Divinity as well? They have something similar. Yeah. <laughs> so, the hard parts are going to be um, levels 1 to 4. Just getting through that. Because um, that's when we're weak. And something could go wrong. Uh, also, Act 2, if we can't talk our way out of the situation. So the plan is for Act 2, we're going to make, we're going to switch over to a Charisma setup and use the Dexterity Gloves, so we still have high Dexterity, but we can also do high Charisma. Um, and try and talk our way out of all three of them. On my test run, I was able to talk my way out of every single boss. Starion does get, uh, especially against the gold boss, he does get some more advantage there for being a rogue. So that one might not be a problem, but we'll still be positioning everybody just in case the rolls go wrong. <laughs> because that can happen. So we need to save a lot of inspiration for them too, I think. Um, yeah, Act 2 inspiration is going to be really important. And then after we've done all those bosses, we can then switch back to sort of full dexterity setup and nuke some of the charisma because we won't, we won't really need it as much for Act 3. So that's kind of, yeah. So expect the best, but prepare for the worst. And I feel like as long as we prepare for the worst, it's fine. Um, another thing I was also doing in my test run was I would just send a Starion in and everybody else would wait far away. And he would take out as many of them as he could in stealth. He ended up taking out not only the Orphan and all of his minions on his own, including the cat, but also Balthazar and his minions too. On his own. So, um, <laughs> he might be fine in Act 3, <laughs> in Act 2. <laughs> Couldn't, um, I had a bit of a problem with the Orphan in particular where I accidentally snuck around them just to see if we could get around there and he immediately attacked me so we didn't get any dialogue. <laughs> hey Gina, hope you're doing well, welcome. It's gonna be easy, we'll see. It's, it's the in-between parts that could be problematic. One little thing goes wrong and then we could be, yeah, it's very OP. Um, and that's an act two. <clears throat> so, I did lose Shadowheart in that run. I didn't know if I could trust her to make the right decision because I couldn't remember where we were relationship-wise, so I tried to persuade her that she didn't like that and failed, and so I was like, Alright, Minfar, you're up. You're the cleric now. Congratulations. <laughs> so, I did lose one on the, um, on the test run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was using passive outer trace a lot, yeah, yeah. By that point he'd had it, yeah, so. I had a lot of invisibility potions. I wasn't using greater invisibility. I'll lay that out there. We didn't we didn't have enough of those to go around, so um he was just using the potions. And um passive outer trace. And it was basically just positioning him in a way where he could retreat easily and get out of sight. So they would just give up. But at least one or two enemies were dead. So we just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until we cleared it out. And then, um, never technique is if you're not sure if he can do it on his own. It's kind of fine if he dies because he's on his own. So it's not a group wipe. Um, but you can have it so he's positioned 
the boss in a way that the boss's back is turned to everyone else, and then everyone else can go in and just, you know, whack it. Sneak up to it and whack it, that's never why. Yes. However, we didn't we won't always have a mass amount of greater invisibility. Sometimes we're just gonna have the potions. They're a little more easier to get, and they're easier to make too, so in most situations we're probably going to have what are we gonna have? Greater invisibility or potion, we're gonna probably have the potions. Um and it's fine though, because we can like I said, we can just retreat and go back in and it's fine. But also what we have is going to be a factor too. Oh, we're just getting started, Brooksy. You didn't miss anything yet. We've not started it yet. We believe, so you don't have to. <laughs> I have, so I'm doing something really weird on the Nautiloid to start with that I practiced last night and I think it'll work. Um, <laughs> it might be a bit risky doing it today, but we'll see. To 100% get our sword, just in the off chance that Shadow Heart happens to fail two or three attempts at that. But honestly, it'll be fine, probably. Uh, well, we're not gonna have a wizard with us, Mike. We're not. We're not. We're not doing a wizard. He's gonna be a cleric. Yeah, I don't have the plan for a wizard in my group. <laughs> not at the beginning, at least. I might switch things around later, um, but we'll see. And then Chad are going to be able to pick between probably Gale and Halson <laughs> uh, for this run. We're gonna we're gonna probably leave Will at camp because he was with us most of the time uh, last playthrough. Um, so we'll we'll give uh, Gale and probably Lazel a chance to shine. Manifesting. I hope we can get it the first try. Honest, I think it'll be fine unless something goes hideously wrong and we get just the worst dice roll ever at the worst situation. You know? If we get... It could just be that, you know, we get one unlucky situation. Yeah, yeah. But I do have that backup save, so if it happens, like, at the brain, we could give it another shot on the test run. Because it's probably going to get to the brain, that one. I have to stop playing that one because it's probably it would finish the game before we finish so <laughs> that's how well that run was going by the way <laughs> but i also am doing this run with the contacts in and obviously you know off stream it's a little less um n n less nerve-wracking i can take more time with it i don't have to watch chat at the same time so there's also that added difficulty when you're doing it on stream too i think um because my reading ability in the red contacts is somewhat diminished compared to what it is normally so we got to go slow and not rush <laughs> the wizards are very squishy mm. now wizards can be great uh you know harpies great um, magic missile, boom, 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 boom. Now, I have had the harpies do a concentrated throw against every magic missile. That can happen, too. Um, against the hag, also, you know, having magic missile there is good. I only had one person with magic missile at the hag when I did it on the test run. I forgot I about that when I got there. But we had the necklace, so we just used the necklace and then the star and was just shooting things and it kind of worked out. So the hag hair also got lucky with that on the test run. Will we get lucky with it on the real run? We shall see. Yeah, Will Will, will had us the, yeah, Will, um, Will was uh, star in sort of bay last time, so he was there with us all the time. So that's why he's going to stay at camp this time. Wizard Companions in Baldur's Gate 1 started at 4 HP. That is... That is really squishy. <laughs> that is... Oh, sorry. The teeth are coming out today. Mm, that is really squishy, though. Oh, my goodness. We just put that back in. <laughs> is, that a, is that a bad omen? <laughs> is that a bad omen for the run today? I don't know. Um... The vampire teeth coming out. 
Right. <sighs> so, last night I pretty much planned what will probably be three episodes. Plus the builds from Act 1 to Act 2. For everybody. So I think it's going to be fine. And like all the gear I need to make sure we get as well. So we don't get to act two and we're like, oh, I need that thing, but we're already past the point of no return for um, act one. All right. <sighs> because it's going to be a very hectic day, let's do some ASMR can opening. Just to relax a little, unwind, before we start, yeah. Aw, don't worry, Teddy, I hope you're well. Good to see ya. Okay, here we go, some ASMR, can't open it. And the pouring, the best part. Hopefully, the fizzy bubbles will land to his nat 20s today. Actually, no, maybe we don't want the nat 20s early. Maybe we want them later, don't we? <gasps> we got a great monster. Oh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully first try we can get this. I don't think we had a wipe on the, on the previous run, tactician run. Yeah, then, yeah, so the best part about Origin Run is exactly no free hours on ca character creator because you're pretty much sorted. Uh, we are going to make his, you'll never guess what we're going to do with his dream lover. <laughs> we're going to do something I kind of wanted to do on the Origin Run, but I didn't have a mod for it at the time. Hello, hope you're doing well, Ward. Welcome. Mmm, you're going to love it. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> All right, shall we get started then? There's no time like the present. All the way over to honor mode. With the very scary looking spectator. Look, Astarian's there, and so is, um, we got Shadow Horror, and I think that's Gale. Gale's there too. Right, honor mode, here we go. Somehow I'm scared. <laughs> Mm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, good time if you want to practice your honor runs alongside me. <laughs> Gonna be going through what I feel are tips and tricks as well as we go along in some... Um, most fights now I have a battle plan for. No, not Dirge. No, 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 no. We already did Dirge. We did Dirge. Dirge was before a star in. Cazador's Dream Guardian. Um, I could probably do that now. That was not the plan, though. I don't have a Cazador face. <laughs> that would be. I think wasn't in the EA. Didn't he dream? I feel like I think at one point it might have been Cazador. Um, you're just gonna watch and steal tips for your honor. Feel free to steal the tips. Feel feel absolutely free to steal them. Gonna get our wormy again. Hey, Stripes, how you doing? <gasps> Wait, what about Neil? <laughs> um, I know what it may be. <laughs> Let me know if you're right when we do it. Um, Mini Steve says she likes you. Oh, <laughs> Starion is a princess, it's true. <laughs> he is a pretty princess. Oh no. We're gonna, it's, it's the teeth again. There may have been a few three, you might have seen a spoiler or two. I'm doing all right, not too bad. Yeah, excited to start our honor run finally. It's, it's just the teeth, the hair. It's very hairy. Um, did someone put his face in the game? I mean, I mean, technically part of his face is already in the game, but I haven't seen a preset. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bit weird, mate. That'd be weird. <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> oh, 
Um, you're playing Dragon's Dogma, but want to play Baldur's Gate and try the honor run again, but you had to take a break because it was getting frustrating. Um, honor mode can be very spicy. I've definitely, um, there might be, usually I don't swear much. There might be a little bit of swearing throughout this run. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> If things get hairy, I will blame Gale, and I will curse him. <laughs> right, so of course we're starting off with Astarian. He is going to be the Gloomstalker, so that means we need high wisdom. And we need high dexterity. We don't need to worry too much about charisma right now, but we're probably going to keep it at 12. We're going to get in the strength... What is it? Bat thingy. I've forgotten what it's called. Um, Club of Hill Giant Strength. We're going to get him that. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about the strength too much. I'm going to probably... Now, this one's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be dangerous. So we probably don't want to use that at all, ever. Because they will suspect us if we use that. Um, so I'm actually going to bring that up to 17 after the hag. But we're not going to have it. It's, it's, just, it's just a useless point right now. So we're going to be... There's going to be a fair amount of respecking. It's going to be a fair amount of respecking. I'm going to go 14. I wrote everything down. So if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I'm checking my notes. <laughs> You're here for the swearing, it's therapeutic. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma also makes me swear a fair amount, so I apologize in advance for those streams as well. <laughs> Lots of hairy... I've been practicing and just um, exploring outside of the towns and avoiding the main quests, so we can do those on stream. Just try and get used to the game and, whoo, so many hairy moments. Right, so yeah, we're gonna go with this to start with. We want decent constitution. This is just so we can, you know, get a charisma check. We're not going to completely flunk it. Um, we don't really need the intel of strength right now. Strength, as soon as we get the Club of Hill Giant, we're going to be fine. Um, so it's not an issue. Yeah. Um, I think we're actually... I really like his skill proficiencies, and I'm going to keep those, because they're pretty great. Especially performance. That's going to be useful in Act 2. Deception is going to be useful in Act 2. Yeah. Persuasion's going to be useful. Yeah, so he's... He's pretty much good to go. Right, and then... <laughs> the plan for the Dream Lover um, is going to be... Where has he gone? There he is. <laughs> We're going to make himself his Dream Lover. Though I'm tempted. So I'm going to let chat decide if we make him a drow or not. <laughs> If we just have normal stars, so if we're just going to match them, or if he's going to um, be like the drow version of himself. Because <laughs> he really likes that rich drogan guy. <laughs> oh, come on. Someone had to do it. <laughs> hey, Draviel. How you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome. How's it going? Oh, demon starion. Which eye color does he have? I feel like it's that one, maybe? I don't know. It's alright. If it's slightly off, it's kind of fine. You feel bad now? You didn't realize people prepared for it. Well, this is the honor run, so every other run, I kind of wing it. Though, when I get there, I tend to have a plan, but this one, we're meticulously planning more. Um, <clears throat> those eyes spook you. Like, there's just something quite off about this star, and I can't quite work, work out what it is. Um... You made him your dream guardian, so you're not judging. <laughs> yeah, so with that, I can... So you can also play, you know, like, make a different character that looks like him or make everybody look like him with that face. I've forgotten what makeup he has. Probably... Maybe that? I can, or does he have... Maybe he has no makeup. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I think it's already set with that, like, very minimal eyeliner he has. Also, you can give him... You can give him cat ears. Um... <laughs> Why not? Uh, he'd fall for him. I feel like, you know, it would he would be his own dream. Because, like, who does he trust the most? Himself. <laughs> they don't get... Wait, oh, wait, oh, they can. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I was 
just like thinking a reflection of his vanity. <laughs> Why are his eyebrows are brown? Um, <laughs> maybe because the hair color. Oh, it's because the hair color is wrong. That's why. I was like, there's something off. So it's like just slightly. There's like some slight differences. It's going full nauseous in Act Three. <laughs> That's one way to get the achievement. Yeah, you made us. Um, there is only one person a star in dreams of, and it's a star in. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we're just. Oh, oh okay. He wanted a different hairstyle. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna. It's gonna be him. Um, I'm not sure which one is actually his hair color. If it's. I feel like it might be that one. That looks about right. Oh, he makes a nice dream guardian, doesn't he? You're making a star in his own dream guardian is symbolic of learning to love yourself. The layers of metaphor, simile, symbolism, and poetic references you have made are greater than those created by Jane Austen. At least that's what my film and English class have taught me. That's, yeah, we're, if anyone asks, that's what we're going for. <laughs> Anyone asks, that's it. Um, who's worse? Uh, maybe Raphael, because um, his own Cambian says he's bad in bed. <laughs> Which is the biggest burn. <laughs> Any haircut that shows his win? Oh, yes. Yeah, so there's also this. Uh, there's another haircut that's like slightly shorter version of his that he looks really good in. Uh, which one does it? It's the one that Hot Dirge wears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one that's like kind of like. Um, a slightly shorter version of his own hair. Yeah. Look at his ears. Right? They look good. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you want the dream lover to have this hair or uh, the standard hair? So, vanilla hair or this hair? What are we thinking for dream lover? You want this one? <laughs> Bald? No! Young intern Astarian. <laughs> hey, Azure. How you doing? Now Astarian can eventually romance himself. Yeah, you see, that's what Bob was thinking of. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys seem to love this hair, so we'll... <laughs> Balding gate. <laughs> oh, okay. Metallic says vanilla. Guard says this one. Nerd says this one. He's fine no matter what, just don't make him bald. <laughs> Could match, match Minsk then. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I think at least two people voted for this one. Mm, okay, I'll show you both of them again. Crazy how different his face looks between them. Make a vote, it'll be rigged. <laughs> Oh, okay. Alt likes vanilla. Okay, let's. We'll match him. We'll match him. All right. That way, he's not going to be too suspicious. <laughs> not that he probably he probably doesn't even know what his hair looks like anyway. Wife says vanilla. Okay, everyone, everyone's saying vanilla. <laughs> right, off we go. Let me just. I'm just going to make sure I got those right. Yeah, 14, 16, 12. Okay, good. Right, off we go. This is the first part where it could all go wrong. Because I'm going to try something that I've only tried once. <laughs> the honor run is also going to be very Lord Farquaad vibes, where it's like some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice we're willing to make as long as the whole team doesn't die. <laughs> as long as one person remains standing, we are good. The first encounter, right? Yeah, when we get the... <laughs> the first dream lover scene. Narratively, it'd be interesting. Headcanning the end, the Emperor knowing vampires can't see their reflection, so it takes this form as a manipulation. Because I could see the Emperor doing that. 
absolutely, and especially playing to Astarian's vanity as well. Because he doesn't trust anybody else. So it'd be either maybe Dritzjorgen or himself. <laughs> when a starring got picked up. So we're going over Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I love the Wilhelm scream. It's such an impressive intro though. One of my favorites. It's not Baldur's Gate. Oh, it's a different city called Yalta. Well, they picked some... Gosh, they picked up people up from everywhere. Goodness me. Oh, that'd be interesting right now, and yeah. The opposite version of whichever side he's swaying towards. Exotic, how you do? Yeah, we're just starting the uh, on a run. Welcome on in. <laughs> Basil wants a thick down there now. <laughs> you've made it so. You've made you've made it a reality now, nerd. Here we go again. Right? If they made an animated movie, you know, I'd watch it. I love those little cartoons they made on YouTube. They're so funny. Oh, there she is. I love how Lisa looks right at us and she's like, yeah, no. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> I don't think you can get anti F. Oh, oh, you mean like not piss her off? <laughs> but then we can't get the hair. <laughs> if we don't piss her off. Oh, but then, hmm. Maybe you can get the hair, but then not piss her off. And you'd have to give her the child, though, I guess, in Act 3, right? We were talking about this last time. If it was possible to get her to fight uh, at the end, if you gave her the child. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if, if you can. But some people mentioned it. You're also doing your first honor run? I love this. A lot of us are doing our honor runs together. It's a group effort today. <laughs> right? The cinematics are so amazing. They did such an amazing job for the intro. The intro alone deserves an award. Your starring room was based around what you proves or disapproves of when you're playing Tav, and it was pretty eventful. That's pretty yeah, similar to what we did in the Origin run, yeah. But I feel like that also depends on your Tav as well. Kind of like the direction he leans in. There's a couple of things we need to pick up. Very important, we need to pick up every chest we see. And I will explain why we're going to pick those up later. <laughs> But we'll see what the first roll is. So those chests there, we're gonna, we're gonna pick all those up. Should be free of them. Hopefully you can. We might have to give some to Lazel. <laughs> He's only got eight strums, so. <laughs> OG Steve. <laughs> you think he'd look better bald? What is it with the boldness? <laughs> I mean, do I think he could rock it? Yes, but I also think he'd look like, what's that guy from Dragon Age? That bald elf. I think he'd look a bit like him. All right, we're gonna take that one too. Right, first roll. What what, what are our bets for the first roll? The pool that thing what are we thinking? The parasite now, now every time I've done, I've started an honor run, I have rolled a one here. <laughs> Oh, is it Solus, not Fenris? <laughs> I think I get those two confused. 
One. Five. It's an investigation, and we do have minus one intel. To be fair, that probably didn't help. <laughs> Under a ten. Two. <laughs> so so basically we're thinking we're thinking a non-pass. A non-pass to not ease us into this, but head basically um fall flat on our face into this run. Hmm. <laughs> Ball, there's a gate. I mean, well, Minsk is, but Minsk rocks ball. You're doing an honor run, honor run as a starion too. Oh no, now I'm worried. No, 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 no. I'm actually more worried that that was an act. No, this is, this is, no. I feel like that's even, oh no, oh dear. Oh my, oh no. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. I feel like we got, we, we, we got one of those nat 20s out of the way when, Ideally, we would have wanted that for the brain. Yep, yeah, that's the nat 20 for the run. Right, this is it's going to be a rough one, everyone. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looks worried. <laughs> that would be too. Okay. Oh, the tutorial chest is full of so much stuff. I'm gonna have to like drop it and to pick up the chest. There's just so much crap in there. Um, I have the summoning thing now, so we don't really need to bring anything with us. We can just do it when we get to uh, camp for the fashion and whatnot. Um, I'm very, no, I'm not. And I'm not sarcastically worried. I am worried. <laughs> I feel like we uh, we might not get our brain friend now. Um, because the nat one at the start run did very well, but I, I, I don't, I feel like it might be the other way around, you know? <laughs> the nat 20 at the start might be bad. Mm. Okay. You've come to save us from this place. See how we fare. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers. The dice rolls are a lot harder on honor. Yeah, you're gonna fail a lot. Before they return. Um he's a bit more they than return. bold. He's um he's missing the top of his head. <laughs> he had a good look. Um who are we talking to? Man or brain? Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking <laughs> to an intellect devourer. He likes blood, but even this is too much. Who abducted you. Mm. I think you're past the point of saving and telling me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Mm. Lick it. <laughs> Just gale from the portal. Stop licking the damn thing. Okay, well, let's work to our strengths and go dexterity. Gently pry it from the skull. Now, I actually ended up having to destroy it one time because uh, it rolled very poorly. Okay, so far so good. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. <laughs> Such a nice <laughs> It's a lot more wrinkly more than his. <laughs> should it prove a threat? Hmm. Right. Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Do we risk mutilating the brain? What should we do? Should we risk it? Does okay. I've got a question. Does the does us still show up in Act Two if you do not mutilate the brain? Because I've never gotten that far with a run where we didn't. It's just well. I mean, it's it. It seems like out of all the brains that we've seen, it's less slimy. <laughs> Maybe it dried up because it was out in the open for so long. He shows up and wait, he's more powerful if you don't mutilate him. Or he's more powerful if you do. <laughs> We're not gonna throw it. If you mutilate him. No, he's definitely an act two if you do mute no, so me and um 
um, on, on the multiplayer run with Ninja, we mutilated him and he did show up. Oh, he's weaker if you mutilate him. Okay, right, that was it. So, he'll show people away. If we don't mutilate him, then he'll be stronger. Okay. But if we mutilate him, he'll show up, but he'll be weaker. Got it. Right, and he'll have the powers. Okay. Oh, I must have done... Oh. Huh. I must have done that on my... On the run, then. Yeah, because he showed up and he had those powers, so... Huh. Okay. I stand corrected. Apparently, I have done it this way before. Yeah, I used to think it was the other way around. I used to think if we didn't mutilate him, then he would be... Yeah. <laughs> we want him to show up. In recognition. Could be we useful in the fight the against Catherick, so. To the helm! Alright, let's go. To the helm we Little go. brain thing. <laughs> it is kind of cute. In like a. Oh, look at all that blood. <laughs> in a little gross kind of way. Right, come on. How many chests have I got? Two. I need three. Lazel. He is canonically smooth brained, yeah, according to the uh, Mind Flayer epilogue. Smoother than the others. If Bald Steve had a pet, it'd be Brian the Brain. I like the alliteration there. Right, yeah, you get the lobotomized feature. Visions rush past. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've got spare. it all preset up exotic for everybody. I got a little, I got my little notepad here. Oh. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no. <laughs> well, I feel Magic confident that we can complete death. it with Astarian. Together, we might um, survive. If this Shadowheart stuff came in time, we might have done it with Shadowheart, but I'm still waiting. Her outfit's stuck in um, customs right now. You're gonna get a tattoo of us as a cat, because that's what everyone... He's, he's kind of like a little kitty, yeah. As then party, and you're gonna make his summon icon the forehead marking. Oh, I love that. <laughs> but yeah, he's basically a brain kitty, right? Okay. Mm, we need to figure out where we are. We'll cut to the chase. We do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Mm, I th honestly feel the same too. Yeah. Um, exotic. He's so strong. <laughs> as for that thing, rogue builds are as long as it crazy strong. It may be of use in the fight to mm -hmm. come. Yeah, and the fact that you can like ascend him as well, on top of him getting elected powers. Yeah. Attacker! Just having a snack, weren't they? They're just hungry. Right? <laughs> just immediately. I'm a vampire, you know, darling. Um, <laughs> there's something missing. Did I not equip a bow? Oh, we don't have a bow yet. Okay, we've only got we got we've got a knife, and that's it. Okay, that's what he's jumping around like that. That wasn't a good start, start, but it's fine. <laughs> Lizelle just showing how it's done. He needs, he needs another knife. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, because cause I haven't... I generally avoid ascending him. Um, so I'm curious to see how powerful that build is going to be with the ascension. Magnificent. No. All right, brilliant. You proved surprisingly adamant in battle. All right, need to make sure we have... Two... <laughs> And a bow, or a crossbow. 
Something ranged. What does Lisa L have? Swap. Blood weave? We might do blood weave. Oh, do we do it? That's the question. Do we do a double ascension? I mean, or do we blow Gale up? <laughs> do we go super tragic ending and blow Gale up? That is the question. That's also a possibility. In Act 3. Though, honestly, if we bring enough scrolls, I don't think we need to use Gale. Very well, then. Maybe have Gale along in case the rolls. Just as. Well, he's gonna be with us the whole time. I just gotta be careful with him at Kefrik. I brought him on the test run by accident, completely forgetting he blows himself. It, well, he wants to do that, you know? Um. Alright, I always like getting rid of these for the XP. We're gonna take these as well. Now we just gotta mess around with the tutorial chest a bit, because I gotta I gotta take the chest, but it's full of things. Might just put his early access outfit on <laughs> while we're here. But we're um we can we can just summon that stuff, so I don't need to pull it out of there. Hopefully it'll be fine if we just drop the chest stuff on the floor. Guess I need to pick it up. So as you can see, it's just full of things. <laughs> Um, so what I'll do for now is we'll just take, uh, I'll just take that. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and the dyes, maybe. We'll take the dyes. I really like the, um, the epilogue color for this outfit. It's really pretty. Alright, there we go. Lovely. Okay, and then I need to figure out a way to get this chest. So, I think we're gonna take it all and then we're just gonna just gonna try and toss it on the ground and hope that it doesn't break the game. Oh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is the game gonna break? Okay, we're just gonna toss it all. Okay, surprisingly, yeah, this I, I honestly thought we were gonna get some like major lag when I did that. Okay, and then Lee's I was gonna pick up that chest. I crave blood. Keep a blade close. And then why am I heavy? Because I picked up that right. Give the other chest to Lazel. She can carry them. Right. <laughs> that tutorial test gets um very full. If I attack the other brains, will us attack me too? I actually don't. I've actually never tried that before. Will us become hostile? Yeah, we're gonna. We go, oh, sorry, that was loud. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna get this. Well, we're gonna. We're gonna do a few things. Um, Santa left some gifts. We have no time for stragglers. We do need a cleric, though, Lazel. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hmm. I found some sort of key. It might free you. Try using it on that machine next to me. Hurry! Please! Funny if we fail this. The console appears dormant. I 
have had Lizelle fail this before, and to be fair, that felt canon. The console hums to life. Okay, I'm getting worried these Pulsing dice rolls have been a little too good. Lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Hey, yes, yeah, it's our Something first official auto run attempt. Squirming in your head. <sighs> the parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Authority. Connection. Authority. Mm, yeah, it's been they've been suspiciously successful. I feel like that Nat one, it's gonna come at the worst possible time. Probably sometime when we don't have inspiration, but we really need it. <laughs> feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. Mmm! Is that log out is really pretty? And it's basically just a different color of the early access one. I do like his vanilla outfit too, though. It's got pretty color. I feel like the colors are more symbolic of his nature in the outfit they went with for release. Um, thank you. You made it. Oh no! Did the harpies get you? Was going to be my coffin. They can be a bit rough, then. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. We've got a solid. Silence bubble strap for that though, so fingers crossed it's gonna go okay. You have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. <laughs> he's got he's got a little bit of blood on him, hasn't he, Steve? Yeah. Mm. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. And uh, shadow heart we need right now. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the I way. mean, technically, we could do this without Shadowheart, but it'll be harder. <laughs> right, let's get going. Get out of here. All right, time to go. Let us make for the this is, this is, Blood is just a vampire lady. whipped cream. <laughs> She's right. Lead on. All right, off we go. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we picked up all the explosive thingies. I think we did. What do we got? Three chests. Okay. Repositioning. Right now onto the prep part. Just gonna make sure it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure it's actually on a mode we're on. All right. And then this is where we're gonna do something slightly we're different. The helm. Once inside, do as I say. <laughs> Lazel's like, I'm going to take charge of this on a run. My own judgment. King Yank. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna have everybody here for a second. Including where's the brain gone? Come on, brain. Scoot in. Can I oh, I can. Alright, we're gonna have her here for a second. We're gonna make sure we do this just so we don't forget. <laughs> Very important. <clears throat> we're gonna put these chests down. Can I get past? I cannot. Okay, good. What right, and then we're gonna have just sh can Shadow Heart jump across though, she can. Okay, we're gonna do something really quickly. And then I'm gonna go to the pod and then we're gonna jump back. Just because I need all her spell slots. Why did everybody. No, 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 not everybody. <laughs> just, just Shadow Heart. Come on. Alright. That way we've got our, spe uh, our spell slots left. So that gives us more than one chance of getting the sword. But we're also gonna kill him too. If the Cambians don't get past the chest. If they get past the chest, we're just gonna abort. <laughs> I do have some explosive things as well, but it's kind of 50-50 if it takes everyone out or not. Yeah, F5 works, yeah. But if you quit the game 
or you look, you, you know, go to the we'll main menu, the it will save over escape. that. If you did. <laughs> Hannah was, um, told me she was just, um, when something really bad happened, she, uh, force quit. <laughs> so it didn't save. We'll just take a peek. <laughs> yeah, all F four. That's what she was doing. So only when it was really, really, really bad, though. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to do that. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't had to in the test run. So just turning the PC off by the plug, <laughs> just to be safe. That panic. Um, panic quit. We're gonna pick up these as well. Let's finish this. Right. Attempt number one. <laughs> this is why I'm that nat 20 is why I'm worried about this. It's fine. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We've got more than one attempt. It's fine. It's gonna be easier if I get the thing now, but I'm worried. Told you that nat 20 was a bad bad sign. <laughs> <gasps> Task manager also. Well, oh, it does. Oh dear. Okay. So, so you found out the hard way. We got fourteen turns. It's it's it's, it's, it's fine. Mind Flayer not doing too good on the health there. We really need to get that weapon out of his hands. Okay. Righto. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay, we need to get laser to pick that up. I have seen, sometimes in Tactician, they pick the weapons up. I've never seen him pick it up, though. But outside, like, of this situation, I've, I've seen them pick it up before. They just, they miss a turn though still, so it's worth it. I have been using Command Halt a lot more lately as well. I think it's quite useful. Are you really heavy? What? Oh, it's because she picked up those. Hmm, we're missing a lot against the Cambion though, which isn't good. We might have to heal the Mind Flare. He's just doing really badly. <laughs> He's doing real bad there. I'm gonna make sure Lazel gets that as quickly as possible now. My path be true. All right, next turn she can do that. Stay focused. Then we're gonna have a star in and shadow heart. Get rid of the over two. Yeah, so we had about two, we had two attempts at that. I've, I've left it a couple of rounds before just to see if he would and he, he's never picked it up. a lot. That's not good. <laughs> we might run out of time. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, like the, the, so what happened is we got good rolls in the, the, uh, cutscenes and we're getting really bad rolls in the combat now. My faith will protect me. Should check for anything useful. When I, uh, I tested this method last night, they did pretty well on the attack rolls, so Hurry, before we're in a bit of a slightly different situation. But, fingers crossed, those Cambians can't get past that chest, so we're gonna be okay. That gives us extra time to kill him. For some reason, they don't jump over them. While 
Easy. And Starion's gonna be the one we want to get to back. Oh yeah, he ain't doing well, is he? We can't, okay. Um, toss a potion at him. <laughs> He's doing a lot worse than he usually does. <laughs> designed to for you to you know there'd be more chance for you to get it however i had you know you can <laughs> you can fail it it's not 100 percent. okay now if we're lucky they're just gonna get stuck <laughs> yeah he's like i don't know what to do with that And if we're lucky, the other one's gonna get stuck and it's sturdy, so they're not gonna get through. Hi, hi Vance, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome, how's it going? Hope you're good. Vance, thank you so much for gifting 10 memberships um, to uh, the YouTube chat there. I do appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. That is very kind of you. Uh, to Bone, Space, Lewis, Josie, Hippie, Zaya, Halo, Tune, Zen. Welcome to the family. I hope you all enjoy uh, your emotes and your new badge. Once we get on the beach, we'll do a party time uh, to celebrate. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, Vince. Helps us uh, keep all our emotes over on YouTube there. <laughs> The, uh, the gift subs. It's fine. Yeah, they're just gonna spend their time doing that now. <laughs> them. Nine. Champion! Oh, he's really... I and mean, we might have to blow him up. We might have to blow him up. We could blow them both up. Probably should get him a bit lower health before I consider doing that, though, I think. Oh, lazy hell! You're missing so much. You gotta... You gotta quit it. I think, okay, we're gonna start putting those down there just to be safe. down a little bit and then I think I'm gonna do the barrels. Has she tried it right? Have you tried not missing Lazelle? Have you? I, I didn't realize we'd swapped with Shadowheart. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> we want to also be able to like loot everything too. You see they're just they're just stuck. They don't know what to do. They don't know they can jump. <laughs> Oh, I gotta be careful with her because she got that flight. I didn't put the sword on her. I don't think it's. Oh, I should have put. The... Okay, I did. I made a mistake there. I didn't put the sword on her. I should have done that. I forgot. Let's end this. That was my bad. If I like cotton candy, it's been a long time since I had cotton candy. Last time when I went to the beach, maybe, which has been many years ago now. But I like, um, I like pink cotton, pink and blue cotton candy. Over here. Those two. Mmm. Okay, we're kind of all right. Should start getting everybody out there now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have Lazel put the last barrels down <clears throat> and then get her out of there. 
This should, in theory, knock them both out. If it doesn't, eh. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um... Make way. Far, far away. I think she's far away enough there. Okay, hang on. Uh, everyone's really... I kind of want to get us out of the way first. Um... Just so he doesn't die the next turn. Because <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess if Uz dies here, then Uz just disappears. So I just want to make sure he's fine. And that not everyone's muddled together so we don't get like a wipe. Um, okay, so we're going to just, yeah, we're going to get everybody safe first. And then we're going to, we're going to blow up. <laughs> I'm really trying to laugh them. Right. Taking position. Got to concentrate. Moving. Right, and then we'll get Shadow Hard up there just so she's ready. I'm fury. I am dead. Um, or maybe, maybe Star. Okay, we're gonna have Lazel go in and grab the stuff, I think. Have oh, Lazel go in and grab it. We got a couple of turns left, so. Can't give up. It, it worked out, yeah. It wasn't as smooth as I, yeah, I forgot to put the sword on her, but, you know. <laughs> it still worked. So ideally you'd put the sword on her when you pick it up, but what happened was I talked about doing it and then I talked to chat and I forgot. <laughs> hey Panda, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome. So we're just gonna have a Starion um, stay there. You know, so we don't crash. <laughs> but he's not gonna click it just yet because I wanna loot everything. later. We got five turns left, so we're, we're good. Got to move. They're not gonna get through that. Oh, okay, so if Uz dies here, he's gone, right? So yeah, it's a good job we got him out of the way. I thought I was gonna attack the other Cambian out of frustration then. everything important. I'm gonna make sure Starion has the stuff. Just give him everything. Ready. Oh, she is, that's fine because we're gonna get her straight away. Yep. Right. I think we're good. Let's get off this uh Let's get off this boat. And just have a star and click it. We should drop at level two. Kill the Cambion, kill the Mind Flare. Now, you can do the explosive thing with the other Cambions too, but it's way more risky because it might not take everyone out. I've had that situation. <laughs> I've tested that as well. And it did not kill everybody. Kill the flyer and the cambion. Yeah, yeah. 
Because as soon as, uh, you know, they one of them's gone, you're the next target, sadly. That's why you got to be careful. Ooh, cars on act free. Um, I don't think so. Not at the beginning. Alright, so part one went pretty well. <laughs> we just gotta pick everybody up now. Nice thing about Act 3 is you have lots of good items, so you're pretty powerful by that point. There's just a couple of fights you gotta be careful about. Like with the Orin fight, making sure you uh, knock every all of her little minions off the stage. Bringing um, the dome to answer. I brought the dome in Raphael as well and I just blew him up. <laughs> The cutscenes are better when the assets have loaded. Oh no, he's still having that problem. Um, there we go. Alright. Oh, we made it to the beach. Oh, it's also not on the SSD as well. That could... Yeah, that could potentially Sunlight. affect it too. Your first instinct is to flinch from it and hide in the safety of the shadows. But to your astonishment, there is no pain. We're a free vampire the now. Opposite, in fact. <laughs> your skin tingles pleasantly, like the caress of a lover who doesn't know any better yet. But beneath the skin, flesh and bone, there is a much more unpleasant sensation. Something nibbles and burrows where it does not belong. The tadpole nestled in your brain. Hmm. We'll, we'll bask in the warmth of the sun. We'll enjoy the moment. Your stomach rudely announces itself to you with a twinge. Unfortunately, you might have bloody clothes, but it'll never have dusty sunlight. clothes. That's true. Time you found some prey. We're hungry. And of course, you'll be <laughs> feeding for two now, thanks to your guest. Until it deigns but to so is the tadpole, apparently. Split you open to reveal a newborn mm -hmm. mind flare. Perhaps it would be wise to focus on finding a cure. As wonderful as the sun is, you can hardly enjoy it if your face rips open. Yeah, this is the um, epilogue outfit that he's wearing right now. She's kind of like a recolor of the early access. Once but yeah, <laughs> less like the magistrate. <laughs> I like both though. I like his vanilla outfit as well because the the color scheme's nice. Let's wake up, Shadowheart. Can't resist. <laughs> this is a star after all, and he totally would. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, just, just checking to see if you're alive, darling. I'm alive, <laughs> yes. Totally not stealing anything. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? I like that she doesn't really question that further. She's like, oh yes, of course. That's obviously what you were doing. Um, doesn't matter, we made it. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. Mm-hmm. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Mm. Now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. And technically, she's a healer. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I better get moving then. Bye. Hmm. We? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. I know, right? Said the healer. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. 
It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. Mm, we're already in Shadow Hearts, good you book. Didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Right. And we're level two. Miss Squeaky Laver. <laughs> Maybe. So as soon as we get Wyver, she's getting respect into a life cleric. Because we're not going the whole game with trickery. Let's hope for gold. Get everything on the beach. We're gonna need plenty of things to sell because we're gonna need plenty of gear along the way. Now, there's a lot of things we have to buy as well. So we want to make sure we have enough coin. So we're gonna be a bit of a loot goblin. We're already heavy. He can't really carry much. Uh, that can go to camp. 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 Just give those to Shadowheart. That can go to camp. We're going to be utilizing potions again, so we want to make sure we pick up things. Refine ingredients as well. So we can unlock more recipes. I like, I like life. It's the best support. It's trickery that I'm not too keen on. <laughs> I'll just think, um, myself. she does much, much better with the other subclasses for it. Okay, we just gotta be a little bit careful here, so we're gonna we're gonna probably sneak up on them. More of those wretched things. Just gonna make sure we get everything first. Might be better to send them in individually. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a star in initiate. We've gotta be careful of that one that's sort of running around. Oh shit. <laughs> There's also that we can do. Okay, now I gotta be careful because if I kill it, if I kill it, if I can, I'm pretty sure if I kill it, it's not gonna be a surprise. Okay, yeah. I pre I'm pretty sure you only get surprised if it doesn't die. And if it dies, you don't get it. And then we're going to blow that up. That's that one done. <laughs> then he's going to finish that one off. Or not, or he's not gonna finish it off. He's just gonna, <laughs> just gonna, he's just gonna look at it funny. And still whack Zephyr, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. She Time to move. completely missed. While they're distracted. Good. Well. Okay, successful. First fight there. <laughs> that went pretty well. Yes, let's. let's get her back. But we're not gonna. Our life cleric is gonna be uh, Gale. <laughs> we're gonna. Because we're gonna bring him. Um, we're just gonna make him like a Mr. Cleric. 
I just want to do something a little bit different with everybody this time. Welcome! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good one today. Okay. Let's go and grab the things on the beach. Let's crack it open. Go pick up Gale. Okay, there we go, our first nat one. And it was on something a Starian should be very proficient with. <laughs> oh dear. That might not be a good sign. It'll be one of those runs where everything he's good at, he fails. Oh. Okay, right. First, we're going to leave Shadowheart down here for a second. <laughs> Someone wants a snack. Over here. Over here. Over here. If I leave her far away, I don't think she'll see it. We can maintain our secret. Like a wraith. Silent is the grave. Yes. Oh, come back! <laughs> Get back here! Chasing a pig. <laughs> come back! <laughs> Where are you going? Shadowheart coming? I'm not sure where she is. <laughs> it's a little disturbing. <laughs> okay. Death is too good for it. Majestic. Okay. Just bring her up. Manually. Going. This is being a bit silly. Where are you going, Starion? Where did? Where is he going? Did, is, is, are we just not? Are we just ignoring the rules of following right now? Okay. <laughs> He wanted to die in style. Okay, I think she's following properly now. They, they got a little confused, bless them. Loot the goblins. Dead goblins Pick up Gale. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Is that rumor? Really how you doing, Lou? Hope you're well. Yeah, we just started. We had a pretty Magic successful bout on the Nautiloid. From it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Got our sword. Dropped in at level two. And then he failed a lockpick check. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what that uh, entails. Um, our first roll was a nat 20, which does worry me. Because I feel like, oh, did we get the good rolls out of the way too early? But we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't start failing everything he's proficient in. Alright, let's help the gale. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. <laughs> now, I do like high-fiving him. Do the trick. I feel like a Starian would do that, to be honest. We did that in the origin run. Potential blood weave romance display for you too. Hello. 
I'm Gale likely between Gale and House, Apologies. and we'll let chat pick again. Be at this. Last time it was between Will and Gale, and uh, Gale lost votes after his romance scene. Will gained votes after his romance scene. Mm. It was like ten votes between them. Mm. At introductions. That magic. Say, but I know you. Enjoy your lurk. In a manner of speaking, you were on the North Lloyd as well. <laughs> he rolled a nat one on the lock picking. Um, we could put Minfar in the running if you want. She'll probably. She was really rude to us in the Origin playthrough because we didn't ascend. She just wanted nothing to do with us. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind the Nautiloid. How'd you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces, and I suddenly found myself in freefall. It wouldn't. Yeah. Oh my goodness! If we if death, Gale just got stuck in there. Glimmer, like right. Well, I guess Gale's out the running. <laughs> less than savory propulsion. Recognizing. Because yeah, yeah. If you fail, nature, uh, you, he can get stuck. You can lose Gale. And found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Mm, to be honest, we've no clue. Fair enough. But even so, I have the unfortunate <laughs> suspicion your survivors. Um, I ended up just whacking the box. Back on the ship, you two instead. were receiving a <laughs> I didn't want to waste lock picks. Insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Um, the devourers aren't too tricky to take out, though. You know, just sneak up on them and you're good. Plus, you get XP. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. <laughs> no, you should have it, is there? <laughs> the insertee we speak of, this. Parasite. So Gale's going to be our cleric this run, but we got to get Wivers first. Gestation, it will turn us into mind it's a I'm thinking I'm just going to boop the people. You, it is to be I think I'm just going to boop them. I don't think we're going to talk to you him. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Mm. Um, I just kind of want to do you? something different with them. So we you'll be a cleric of Mistra. Condition to realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Hmm. No stranger to high stake extractions. With these tadpoles beyond even my like fingers, I can't cure us. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common. What do you even want to? We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? <laughs> right, yeah, because he's asking for a healer and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Sounds like a plan. Hop in. <laughs> Get in the van, Gale. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. <laughs> We've had Shadowheart with us a lot oh, during the playthroughs, and the next playthrough is going to be her origin run. We'll probably do honor mode difficulty demand. for that too. Um, for me out so, that I'm really, uh, so I'm thinking we leave. So I'm thinking Shadowheart's going to be at camp mostly. I have the feeling because we're going to have so much of our next run. Present themselves for me to return the favor. Right, Let's level them up, and we'll go pick up Lazel, give her her sword. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter because he's going to get respect. Um, I think I'm going to give him the health because he's so squishy. Hey, how you doing, Silver? Hope you're well. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's just so squishy. No right. Um, we're gonna keep command. I like it. Hmm. I'm kind of fine with what she has. The only thing maybe is I put the shield on, but I might not need it. All right, let's go get Lazel. Broken. Must have been here a while. Gail very pe preachy as always. 
Now, if we're unlucky, we might have to fight here. If we're lucky, we can avoid it. If you're a Gif Yankee, it's a much higher roll. The thing is dangerous. Leave it for the goblins. It's a lot harder to pass. Because they just they're like, oh, it's another one. Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Dwaygar too. Oh, they don't like the Dwaygars. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, this creature's dangerous. Get out of here. Just leave it to me. We'll handle it. Oh, drown. Oh. Demaze, let's No. I'm not leaving this fiend. Alright, okay, I guess I guess I guess we're maybe fighting. Um uh... Your word. Okay. Uh Josie! Thank you so much for gifting a membership uh there. I do appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Hope they enjoy their emotes and their new badge. Um, <laughs> can I have camp. one of the other party members? Let's get the creature to camp. Then we'll look into the blast. N wait, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, goblins. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Does Lazel not like me now? <laughs> We're gonna have to kill him! <laughs> no, don't rejoice! I failed the check! <laughs> This wasn't part of the plan. Uh, rip tiefling, uh, save, saving the tieflings, Rone. I want to avoid using up his spell slots right now. For goodness sake, Gale. <laughs> could, could we hit things, please? Go for the one with less health, Lazel. This is what I mean, though, you know? We're at that point now where thing, things are, are gonna happen that we are not anticipating. Um, I have a lot of help, too. Okay, please, the starring, can we... Can we hit something? Oh, no, it wasn't out of the way enough. I really don't want to use up the spell slots. Well, luckily, they're just terrible at hitting things. What do you mean he's not got enough movement? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gail, that's twice in a row. Why does she keep hitting that guy? Go for the one with the least health, Lazel! Everyone's just missing. Just go whack her. Give her a whack. <laughs> okay, right, finally, someone's getting the job done. <laughs> Gale, right, come on. Just just <laughs> hit this one. Right, better. <laughs> Showing us exactly where we're gonna respec him, yeah. <laughs> Squishy and not hitting. I'm using the cantrips because I don't want to um, waste my spell slots because the plan is we're gonna boop the ones around the corner. If you're wondering why I'm avoiding that. Oh, come on, Astarian. The, the combat rolls have not been good. I'm, I'm very worried. Josie, thank you so much. I'm glad you like. Uh, I'm glad you like the uh, the cosplay. <laughs> thank you so much for the the super ch chat there. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, the twentieth super chat. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate that. Right. Okay. So we're not getting the save the tieflings achievement this time. Don't mind if I do. Okay, is she still mad at me? Can we even get Lazel now? I, I... Hasn't yet okay, no, she's fine. Senses. Because I probably because I attacked them. <laughs> but the longer we wait, the more it consumes. 
Right, okay. Possess the cure for I was a little worried. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. <laughs> these two. Now there's a chance if we fail a roll later, these two might kill each other. Mm. All right, you're welcome to join me. Ally from Crash Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Okay. I trust your judgment, but I won't trust mm. her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You have a sharp tongue, Elf. Oh, Word Shadow Heart. Mind proved its equal. Half Elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. I feel like on the Shadow Heart run, the maybe the romance is going to be between Lazel and Carlac. Because, like, those two have a lot of tension. But she also wants Carlac to throw her over her shoulder, too. Where he has seen my kin. <laughs> oh, these two, eh? All right, give her that sword. So, like, vampires, you're looking forward to... You know, I've never played a vampire masquerade game before, but a lot of people have told me very good things about the series, so if they bring out a new one, we probably will play it. Because, like I said, I heard, I heard good things. Okay. Right, where are we? Okay. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna leave Lazel here. Okay. Like it's will be done. Let everybody up. Shouldn't linger. <laughs> Careful, I bind. Lazel has a dangerous look. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You and Lazel have a pr have a problem. <laughs> right. But we're not going to talk about it right now. Bloodlines 2 is in development. Is there any idea of like when that's coming out? Oh, how you doing, uh, Mercy? How's it going with the little one? Is she doing all right? Gail, could you sneak, please? It's very important that you sneak, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble here. Okay. All right, then with Shadowheart and Gail, we're going to keep them over here. Let's get this over. What are you doing, Gail? Why can't... Okay. <laughs> like, no, 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 not you. You stay there. We're just, we're just gonna boop him. <clears throat> because, um, if we talk to them and we fail the check, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. So, uh, we wanna avoid that. I'm gonna wait until she gets down the stairs more. There could be all and then we're gonna whack it. Right, rich? yep, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Right, here's our moment. Great. Then we're gonna have a star and just go here. He's gonna sneak. Then we're gonna bring out Lazel. She's gonna whack this guy. Luckily, he didn't turn around much. Sometimes he'll turn all the way around. Sweet. Push him off. Bye. Gone. Oh, no, no! Ah, he's got two elf left. Okay. Um, oh, it's fine. I think we can... Ah, whoops. <laughs> Might have, uh... Damn it. Just get around. Thought we could hit him from there. It's fine. I'm gonna finish that guy off, I think. Good. Secret Shadow Heart in. It's 45. Awesome. Good. She misses a turn. We're good. <clears throat> Can I shoot her from there? Maybe not. Oh, we can't. Oh, I thought I could jump up there. Apparently, I can't. Swords meets 
sorcery. Eat this. Didn't even hit us. <laughs> Your action splat. Yeah. <laughs> Easy busy. Oh, there's a demo? Oh, it's on YouTube. I'll have to check it out. Hmm. But yeah, probably be a fun one to play there. Okay, I have a... So if we fail the check here, I have a plan. We're going to go around the other way. <clears throat> so it should be fine. 2022, 2023, so you're a little skeptical. Oh, so it's about a year behind now. Um... <sighs> Mm. Um, oh, Kimmelbock uh, triggered some trap. He needs help now. Um, oh, wait, what do we do? Oh, wait. I can't. Oh, I'm trying to remember which one was which. Do we. I don't think he's going to bring them all in if we do this, right? Yes, it's me. Let him let me in. What we want is we want everybody to be in the middle room. They're going to be in the middle room if we do deception or performance, I think, right? I'm questioning my memory now. Of this particular moment, despite me doing it so many times. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, get inside or we'll slow. Okay, okay, okay. And then he'll just be there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak, they burn. Victory awaits. Quite ready for you. I what Get that back. Is. Okay. Next room. Gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want him in the middle near the explosive thingy. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, one second. I will be right back. Just gonna go grab a drink and then we're gonna get positioned for this next fight, okay? These are kind of the fights where I'm like, if it goes really wrong, we can be in trouble, but mostly fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. So if we roll really poorly here, we might be in trouble, but I'm thinking it's going to be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. I'm going to turn off a couple of the lights. We're going to get everyone in position. I didn't see her. <laughs> Jenny, you're so sneaky. <laughs> I didn't hear her follow me back at all. <laughs> and then I just, it was just this face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, Jenny. Oh no, not on the keyboard. Oh, what have you opened up there? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Let's get that out of the way. Right, go just sit down. Um, <clears throat> a little shaky now. Okay, I think we're gonna have Shadow Heart. Um. I'm just gonna have her do this. I must keep going. Have to keep low. Time to kill. Quick and quiet. I'm just gonna have to do it quickly. Okay, please don't fail it. She cast Guidance, so it removed the blast. For God's sake. <laughs> I forgot about that. We didn't need Guidance there, honestly, at all. Do it again. Perfect. Waste of a spell slot, though. Alright, everybody. If we're lucky, I'll kill one of them. We're unlucky, it did not. <laughs> but maybe fine. Let's find some prey. <sighs> maybe I probably should have shot one of them and okay, so I did something wrong there. I should have shot one of them and then done that. Because that would have surprised them. Um, but it's okay. With every breath. Only two? Lazel, that was... Ugh, and she's stuck there. That was bad. That was really bad, Lazel. I'm gonna close the door. Shall be done. She's kind of like I'm stuck there now. Oh, they're gonna try and open the door. Like, <laughs> they're not gonna... <laughs> they're not gonna open the door. They're gonna try and destroy the door, apparently. Oh, okay, you worked it out now. Yeah, we got unlucky. Those two didn't die. Nah, eh, this one's dead though. Let's have a little fun. Let's get Galen. Gail. 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 To come first. Gail. Well, he's gonna die. <laughs> he decided to just walk in the way, so now he's gonna get everything. It's probably fine. It's just now he's in the way of Lazel. I'm ready. I will ascend. You just shove him. <laughs> that explosion barely did anything to him. This is what I mean. Sometimes, you know, it just doesn't, you know, something goes wrong. And Gale ends up being used as cannon fodder. Healing 
This is entirely your fault, Gail. I hope you know that. Don't get too close. <laughs> oh, they closed the door. Need to keep focused. Please, I'll zip way. Let's turn someone inside out. On the hunt. I will ascend. What comes now? Okay, I just decided not to hit Gale at all. All right. <laughs> I thought it was going to get both of them. Nope. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's his fault for standing at door. We'll just use him as cannon fodder. What was that that I walked into there? Was it Caustic Brine? Mind me. Time to strike. Oh, he's dead dead. Oh, now he's a necrotic. Oh, for goodness sake, Gail. Well, they have to get past that now then. Let's let's move every we should we need to move everyone down here, so they have to go through him. I don't think he died, I. Where if Gale ends this run early, he's in trouble. Oh, disengaging. My favorite. Better tread carefully. How? <laughs> How did they see her? She didn't even go into the thingy. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my God! Why is she moving? I wasn't even on her. This is everything is going wrong here. Okay. It's on Starion's photo. Even a hard fight. Oh, oh, you don't get hit by the necrotic stuff. Okay, I see how it is. Walk straight through it like it was nothing. Yeah, we got it very early because uh, he decided to stand in the doorway. On the move. He was away a bit there, wasn't he? She still has twenty L. in an awkward place. On the move. Time to strike. It's gotta stay out of Gale's bubble. She's an archer, so she'll probably avoid it. Of hey Rubix, how you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome. How's it going? That means I have prematurely perished. However, Gale would be the first one to die. That cannot be disclosed. It is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You mm -hmm. may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation. I'm tempted to leave him. <laughs> Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. It would days. be Gale, right? I trust I've made myself clear. Oh, we know. Oh, isn't that the one where um, uh, Maggie Roberts is going as well? Isn't that isn't that one, Rubik's? Hmm. All right. How are we supposed to bring you back to life? I have a starring just looking, just growling at him for standing in the door. My 
but such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. I'm just going to leave you. <laughs> this is all too much trouble. Next, you must unthread the purple seam. Mm. That oh, that's the one in two weeks. Ah, that's the one fashion. Sam's going to. Do Got not you. Touch any other so you can see Sam and Tim then. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Dead. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is... It's the one with the ash at the end. That's how Announce I'm going to remember it. And the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear, because the little scamp... <laughs> you were ready to play Gail's Words little flute. Words appear on the letter's <laughs> surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Oh, dear. Even, even Amelia life. shading him. Oh, Maggie Wood, Rubik's Maggie Wood. <laughs> All right, I promise I will. Excellent. Now repeat my instructions <laughs> back to me, please. I'm sure he's used to stuff like this. <sighs> Got it. Seems, notes, names, a lot. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. Mm. Fine, I'll play along. Retrieve and the pouch. <sighs> I should unfread the purple seam in a counterclockwise fashion. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go um, on. is it top to bottom? <laughs> I can't remember. I just know it spells dead. Um, the bottom left. Focus, Chucky. I it play, just spells dead. Okay. Right. <laughs> Quite right. Start at the bottom right corner and remember to play them clockwise. After that. <laughs> And its name is could could yes that with an ash. Correct. <laughs> but pay attention I love to how the, the companions will all shade curve. you if you get it wrong though. The Star Ends is pretty funny. And so we have gone through the necessary steps again. Let's hope practice makes perfect in the end. <laughs> He's That's really unhappy with, with Gail. They're not off to a good start, are they? With the of life He's had enough with him, and we only just started. Gratitude. Um, Gale stood in a doorway and tanked, decided he wanted to tank all the damage, um, and he died. That's what happened. <laughs> Step quick. Other than that, it went all right. All right, I purple thread. Differently colored strands of thread. You're the kind of person who would show up dressed as something within the fandom and bring some obscure, completely unrelated role they had. Oh, right, he's telling, <laughs> dressing up as a goose and then telling him you liked him as Captain Hook in that Kia commercial. <laughs> nice. I mean, the goose cosplay was fantastic. Purple thread can't conquest fact. As the purple thread becomes undone, yes, scale the tank. The opens to reveal I hope he makes a better cleric. Then he does a wizard. <laughs> okay. All right. Then we're going to play his little flute. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. Okay. The flute awaits with bated breath. D. E. A. <laughs> this is not his element. <laughs> D. Gale is dead. And his name is the one that has an ash at the end. Yeah. 
Gosh, she did track ash. Oh gosh, I can't, I can't say that. Gail would not, uh, let's just say Gail would remain dead if I was there. Honestly, Gail. I wish we could experience this for the first time again. She was laughing in tears. Just the fact that Gail made it so complicated, right? On my way. It's just, it's very Gail. This there you are. Oh. Oh, honestly. <laughs> this wizard's too much trouble. What, More trouble than he's worth. Uh, welcome, oh, thank you for the follow. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime... Thank you. <laughs> it was very Gale of Gale. <sighs> I'd like to point out that, if anything, your protocol was a bloody nuisance. But a necessary one. Scrolls of true resurrection don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, we'll be meeting with her soon. Hopefully Only that fight goes better than this, this one did. I don't know, but, yeah, that what went wrong was Gale getting caught in the doorway. Simply cannot be bloody revealed. his initiative's not good, so... Hmm. Hmm. I brought you back to life. A few answers at least you can spare me. I... I suppose that after all you've done for me... You got the scroll. Be at least a little and then you revive... Ref yeah, Tell you revive Gail. I will answer one question that you may have, to the best of my ability, if I can. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's a bit late for that now, but it's fine because we don't need it. We don't need it. It's going to be fine because we're not going to have people dying like this. <laughs> um, you did tell him you liked him in that queue. I, I heard something about that him being in a queue commercial. Yeah. <laughs> right. I just simply want to know what it is you're keeping from me. I'm dangerous. Not because I want to be, but because of an error I made in the past. It makes me dangerous, even in death. You brought me back to life, and for that I am in your debt. I was surrounded by danger. It could happen again. I hope you got does, more scrolls. Bring me back again. You must, for the sake of many. Oh, you want to see the commercial. Oh, what are you going to tell Tim? Tim's been in a lot of stuff lately. Every time I sit down to watch a British show, he I hear Gail's voice and he happens to be in it. Gail can hold that. <laughs> Give those to Lazel. Going mm, I'm okay, debating yeah. whether we want to do a rest before the, the skeleton fight or not. The problem at this Who stage is we just have so few, the like these two have so few spell slots. My Lazel's fine, but everyone else doesn't really have much. Whatever comes, mm, she can do Terran Dad. Mm. Maybe fine. Over here. There will definitely be Less points where it's better to overcompensate with the resting. Your friend did the music to that movie. You've been in a stand up comedy show that Tim was in, and he's pretty hilarious. Mmm, yeah, he seems to do a lot of comedy stuff too, I noticed. If you meet Andrew, aka Raphael, you're having him sign a smutty book he did the audio. He did it! Wait, wait, wait. He did the audio for a smutty book. I had no idea. <laughs> That's funny. Nandor, Fordor, and the Talking Mongoose. That's a title. Ah, he, that, that's one of the movies Tim's in. Mm. 
<laughs> Should we grab everything? Quick rummage. So we can sell it. Oh, chest was empty. Please, I'll carry a little bit more for us. Um, he definitely has the voice for it. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, for sure. Leave it to Gale to put a potion of animal speaking in water. He's done a few that's only a few books got finished that... Oh, but they were just normal books. But made you wish you were eating glass. Oh my goodness. That intense, huh? <laughs> wow. The power of the voice. Five weeks. Oh yeah, he's gone to a lot of cons this year, it seems, right? Gonna be going back and forth from America. A lot, um, by the looks of it. Hmm. Monster? What is that? It was it wasn't it wasn't good, Smut. <laughs> His voice made it it made it tolerable. It was very cringy. How did people find that out? <laughs> I bet. Yeah, it's, um, it's always busy. Hopefully he had some time to wind down and have a holiday this Easter before traveling again. Job is a job. Mmm. Right. On we go. Sending them to camp just so we can yes. keep the stash organized. Oh, where'd it go? Can't see it. <laughs> Do not pick it up. Oh, I did pick it up. Gonna send him into this room alone. I'll get Lazel to pick that book up. We can sell those. Don't touch me. He found out because it was a book club pick on chapter four ish. The words Helen Deal got said too suspicious. Ah! So. Because he was saying the words Helen Deal a lot. Oh, he's, okay, he failed all the perception checks, but it's absolutely fine. Someone doesn't like this. <laughs> Every possible check. Right, Shadowheart. Mm. Yeah, we're not doing well on the trap detection so far. It's a little concerning. Into my pocket. Maybe it's going to be fine. He's literally failing every possible perception check. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Don't mind if I do. I might need somebody else in the party to do that kind of thing then. He's not doing good. Alright, let's get everybody into the next part. Got to make sure we take all the weapons off the skeletons. So there, it's, it's going to be an easier fight. I wonder. Scribes 
with swords. So much for the queen, master. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Go grab the book and then we'll we'll set everybody up for this. I've got to get the fighter in particular. This one down here. Don't want to forget about him. <laughs> Coins for our lack. A change. Ooh. Right, let's see how we do on these rolls. Both Gate 1 and 2 are on Game Pass right now on Xbox. Um, if anyone is looking to play them after you finish Baldur's Gate. Thanks for the heads up, Rubix. Mm -hmm. It's nice for us. Are we going to do well on things that we're not proficient at? Yes, we are. Okay. That is the run, everybody. We're going to fail everything we're proficient at, and we're going to pass everything we're not. <laughs> <laughs> he got frustrated. <laughs> the lock like that sort of please look on his face when he when he Magic successfully opened it. From the Sounds pretty accurate for DND, right? Oh, you got them both already on PC. scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Hmm. All right, let's see if we can pass the. Nope. <laughs> Can't pass that. The longer you stare at the dark and decimated words, the more your head aches. You can't get BG2E no to work on your computer. Is it one of those that doesn't play nicely on modern computers? Um, oh, I'm wondering if, if they have it on GOG. GOG tends to have old games, but they come with performance patches for like new uh, PCs. So usually you don't have to add any like patches or anything because it just comes in built. So if they have it on GOG, it might be in a playable state on, um, on sort of, you know, newer machines. Oh, we should probably use, we could, oh, we could use those at the Harpy. Oh, we have five. Okay, it's probably fine. Um, right. I'm gonna get him to take one. Maybe Lazel, and then we're gonna save the other three for the Harpies. I sent that to Gail. Slazel's gonna be up close. I'm not babysitting Gail. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. He'll probably die less when I respec him. Alright, so Gail, you're gonna go over here. Let's put you in your spot. It's like uh, your computer you got from Prime Veer Gog when BG was launching. They went here. Oh, nice! You got the first two with it. I kind of did something similar for a 76. I ended up getting the first Fallout and second Fallout games um, for playing that. I still haven't played them, though. I have them. I've just, I've just not touched them yet. One day. All right, then we're gonna have Shadowheart here. Let anyone see. She can do some turn on Dad. Um, nothing. Lazel's gonna press the button. Is everybody sneaking? Yes. Is everybody obscure? Yes. Okay, so what we have to do is press the button with Lazel and then very quickly switch to Astarian. So, like this. Oh, I switched back to Lazel, didn't it? <laughs> because uh, we need to shoot him. Okay, good surprise. Now, sometimes when I try this, he dies and Starion just crits him to death and then we don't get the surprise, uh, which is bad because we, we want the surprise. So. Yeah, good, awesome. Okay, uh, he's still looking over here. We might have to wait. All right, let's go get, uh, get Galen. 
Um, I want to do a 50 or... What's next, I wonder? Uh, Shadow Heart. I don't think she can hit both of them. Maybe she can. No, maybe not. <laughs> can she? Oh, she might. Can she tech? Oh, I don't think that technically hits him, does it? Let's try it. I think it does because he's. Yeah, he was high. Okay, anyway, it turned him. So. Still in shadow. Gonna have a go round. Into the shadows. Not one so we can move. boop him. Turn for three turns. Oh, let's boop this one then. He's he's kind of preoccupied for now. Taking position. Okay, pretty good first turn. Destroyer. They're gonna miss that turn. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Can't give up. Not now. Uh, the misses early on hurt so much. Honestly. He's still turned, so we're gonna, gonna just ignore him for now. Time to strike. Get Lee Zelda shoot him. Taste my fury. <sighs> Missed. <laughs> with his staff than he ever did with a spell during this fight. I just want everyone to know that. <laughs> we got an eight with that. Deal with a tanky guy. Night to King Five. Torment. Victory awaits. Dale's telling us he's ready to. Yeah, he's telling us he's ready to give up his mage life and try something new. Oh, that was unfortunate. But it's fine. He, he's dead. This way. Only way it could kill us is if everybody missed their turns. Corpses are better fighters than many who draw breath in this world. Curious. Oh. Just a brief respite. Uh, you had the non-enhanced version on GOG, even heavily modded it, but now you can't figure out why the modern enhanced edition doesn't start. You used to have BG2EE on your iPad, which was fun until it developed a memory leak, <gasps> and it required a device wipe. Oh gosh, sorry, that sounds like an absolute pain to deal with, especially on an iPad, jeez. Yeah, it doesn't, so even, even the GOG version isn't playing too well on modern machines, and goodness, gosh, if even GOG can't fix it. That's like the sad thing about the classic games we grew up with. A lot of them just don't play nicely with the modern machines anymore. And some of them, they're just not available anymore yet. There's... there, there he is. Good old Withers. Goodness. 
Twitch just gave me a pop-up about controlling adverts. It's like, you turned off our adverts. We don't so get them anymore. Has spoken. What are you talking and about, so Twitch? <laughs> BG1 EE -E works I fine for you, though. They are. They're ready for that glow up. We gotta get some money first, though. Now, Might do the harpies have first. Have Gale with magic missile for that. The worth of a single mortal's I'll think about it. You can't play some of your favorite classic RPGs because things are tied to your CPU speed. Right, and that just breaks the game. Mm. Oh, what are some of the classics that you used to like playing that do that now? <laughs> right, pay us and we'll think about it. <laughs> It was just such a weird pop-up for me. To, like, they didn't... They, like I said, the shutdown was so half ass. They didn't even bother to turn off those things. Uh, we don't know. We've asked. They keep, they won't tell us. We, we have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, sadly. I know it's frustrating. Because I can't provide an answer. But we, we don't know. They won't tell us. There's also an issue right now where a bunch of streamers here haven't received their final payout. And, um, that's a whole mess as well. Mmm. Mm, the peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Because that would be senseless. Yeah, well, honestly, the, um, my question? support has been mostly frustrating. <laughs> Just, like, dismissive, not getting answers being thrown around a bit. I think I think that's been worse than the shutdown itself, honestly. Hmm. All right, ask away. So I ask again, what is Ooh, the Ooh, who are we going to romance? So we're thinking Gale or Halson, and we'll probably let chat pick. Though Kara did want to throw Minfar into the ring. So we'll see. <laughs> see how everyone's feeling. Hmm. Oh, the only life that matters is mine. That's exactly what he'd say. At this particular junction, perhaps that is not so far from the truth. Very well. I am satisfied. <laughs> Love out no matter what we you say, he doesn't really judge. And I know my face. Or if he does, he judges quietly, you know? We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Yeah, there's a lot of older games that just got sort of lost in the sands of time, right? And they just don't work on the modern machines anymore. Hmm. Who are you feeling right now, Whisper? Gail or Halson? <laughs> uh, Fate, I think it's a, a game where you play a hero, and you can have a spider, cat, or dog companion. You had a tower, but the enemy attacks are calculated based on your... <gasps> The enemy attacks are calculated based on your CPU speed. I can see why that, yeah, so that <laughs> you can see why it'd be uh, trouble. <laughs> Goodness. Because, yeah, much slower back then, right, than it is now. Oh, two of them leveled up. I hate when not everybody levels up at the same time. Okay. When we get, we gotta respect Shadowheart as well. Uh, I'm thinking of making Lazel our monk. Might keep a fighter for a little bit though, because I feel like it's gonna be a little stronger. Because of the surge. So, but we are going to eventually have a monk uh, with us. Right. Um, a Missy Step, just so we can get out of the way for now. Might keep him as get might keep him as Gale as a wizard for the RPs. Because magic missile's well, kinda gonna be useful. We need Shadow Heart and Silence Bubble. What a mess the ages cause. If we get super unlucky in that fight, they'll immediately break the bubble. If we don't, the bubble will stay up for a while. So it might be nice to have some potions just to and have her not use much. So she can also use this as a second, like a backup. Cause both work. This works, this works. But Astarian's gonna be separated from everybody. 
I like to put him in a sneaky spot, which is a little bit risky because he might get charmed, but he does have some resistance against getting charmed. Um, yes, please. So it's usually a little safe to peep in there, but you know, it's 50 50 still. Romancing Pot. So with Karlak, um, we were planning on doing her and Astarian when we did Karlak's origin run. So that's why I haven't romanced Karlak yet. However, there's a good chance on the Shadowheart one it'll be between Karlak and Lazel, because I just I feel like if she went for anyone, she'd go for those two, you know? Enemies to lovers, or just Karlak, who she loves from the beginning. Oh, Karlak's gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karlak's gonna, gonna live. I think we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot a little if we uh, go against the Grove. Because Althea does have a very nice goodie pack if we decide to um, have any charisma based characters on the run. Yeah, I think the same Basil. I feel like I feel like um yeah. I mean, she has a little bit in common with Vistarian, but most of their dialogue towards each other is pretty antagonistic. <laughs> Ooh, who knows though? Maybe without Tav there, they'd get close. I don't know. I think we're going to do a rest before we go to do this fight. Shouting up ahead. Yeah, let's let's do a rest before we do you that. Check it out. Um, be oh wait, maybe we don't need to. Gale yeah, spell like slots are fine. I mean, no, we don't need. To. Oh, we're what fine. I think I think we don't we don't need to. Um, we can do a rest without using any. We'll do a rest without using anything. Just so story wise, we're up to date. Minfar and Gale, who's trying to ascend, work insanely well. It's funny because she hates Gale usually. <laughs> she always has something to say about him. You know? All right. Go. First thing I'm going to do is just get the tutorial chest stuff in here as well. Um, we'll put it in one of, the, one of these, maybe. Just so we, we can dress everybody up later. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he gave me potions. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna dress everybody up later. But we're, we use transmog, so only vanilla stats. That's pure. They're purely for aesthetic reasons. Okay, so we'll have a rest just so story-wise it's not skipping too much. And then, uh, but we're not going to do the camp. I don't think we need the camp supplies right now, so. Who do we talk to? Okay, who do we want to talk to first? Is Gale, Shadowheart, Lazal? Who should, who, oh, we should probably talk to Gale. We're going to remember about Gale. We should talk to Gale first, I think. Go to hell. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, so I feel like when we do the Shadowheart origin, um, party's probably going to be Lazel, Karlak, Starion. <laughs> Maybe we'll make him a monk that time. We'll do an honor run for that as well. Because I feel like after Tactician, anything outside of that's going to be too easy anyway now. Uh, how long until we we get our reliable Will? So Will might stay at camp because we had him the entire of the origin run. So he, he might be at camp uh, this time. <laughs> yeah, I know. We already brought him back from the dead and he wants us to go back to hell. Good night, Muffin. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, watch your damn mouth. And a good evening to you too. <laughs> You're a good sport. Go to I love how an everyday expression. Whoever you don't so talk trivial, to first gets really pissy about it. Seen <laughs> That's real. Like if you don't talk to a star in first, trivial. you'll be like, I'm brooding. <laughs> and you just won't say anything else to you. <laughs> so early on, especially, the order in which you speak to everybody does change things. 
which is fantastic. Hmm. You sound more, a tad more dejected since uh, when we first met. Merely contemplating. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Honestly, though, based on Pictures Gail's on performance in that first fight, I, can't, I couldn't makes. see Astarian trying to seduce now him as the strongest party member. Like <laughs> He's scowling at him so much. That's it started abstract. when he died. Mm. <laughs> so funny, considering what he says if you don't talk to him first. Mm. I, I feel like he'd be encouraging everyone to get some rest, you know, so we can go out for a hunt. Perhaps you should get some rest, Gail. This you seem tired. Invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Mm. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Lazel got caught too, and Shadowheart was in the pod. So his, his options are pretty limited right now. Yeah, right now he's like, I'm the strongest party member. He can seduce him to use him as a human shield. That's a fantastic idea, Twigs. <laughs> Please, everybody, go to rest. Yes, go. just go to bed. I'll keep watch. You can trust me. <laughs> mm. I'll talk to Lazel second. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Hey, you the do one you who had... She had an exclamation mark above her head rest, just a moment ago. But the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell. Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Charming. <laughs> right. Let's see how Shadow Hearts doing. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. Doing the rounds? <laughs> what were you two talking about? Mm. What do you mean? You and Gail. Oh, she didn't see me talk to, to uh, Lazelle then. Mm. Oh, we were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. Yes, trust the man with the pale red eyes, suspiciously long teeth and bite marks on his neck. Who occasionally does a, a, a weird Naruto run. <laughs> That's suspiciously vampiric. Hmm... Mm. You don't trust Gale? He's a wizard. Although These two are going to be camp power. gossips later. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. Funnily enough, I think his... I think you know how important it is that we find his early access out that hid the marks a little better Best than his current one, on I think. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not be a mind flayer. Agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky Gale's and find one Gale right just away. eavesdropping. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest just well. like I agree. <laughs> From the other side of camp. So uh, everyone, pretty yeah, they 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 had spell slots. This was just for story purposes. The forest. Oh, dark, it's the dream cold, scene. Foreboding. <laughs> Hello. Which I guess is quite unusual Anyone for him because he doesn't really dream First, as a vampire or an elf, right? Drink the blood of thinking creatures. Hmm. Maybe try to let's see. Try to sneak away this time. Second, thou shalt obey me in all things. You keep low to the ground, scuttling like a rat. Third. Thou shalt not leave my side unless directed. Oh, please. Mm. Not again. Fourth, thou shalt know that thou art mine. Is he in his ritual chamber there? Kind of looks like it. Hmm. Oh, last time we, we did two because it felt like canonically he'd, you know... He'd say to you. Um, how about one or three? Do we want to go? Wait, I can trade with Cathador? Excuse me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, Dreamcast, do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind? Um, I got a few things. Um, I'd just like you to keep a hold of, darling. Um, <laughs> I can actually sell him things. Oh. Yes, just, just keep a hold of those for me, please. <laughs> this is bizarre. He's not even, he's not even there. This is, this is a dream. This is Dream Cazador. <laughs> we just wake up when we've got a stack of gold. All right, thank. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> and the tension just evaporated. <laughs> Put silver in his pocket. <laughs> mm, okay, do we want to go one or free? One or free this time. That was really weird. <laughs> we might have found a bug. Uh, Larian, I can trade with Cazador in the dream scene. <laughs> Am I supposed to be able to do that? Free? Free? We can attack him this time. We're getting cocky. Cazador wakes up with 50 axes, 20 bucks, and an empty coin purse and wonders what's been going on there. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. If he had, uh, oh, imagine if we could steal his staff or his um, that really strong sword he has early on. That'd be so funny. He'd definitely be broken then. All right, let's try and attack him. Let's see what happens. You swing, but connect with nothing. You are mine forever. Does this mean, I, I think so. I think Pazador is just gonna. Let, we'll have to wait and see if later on he has all that stuff in his inventory. Quickly, if you're late, he'll flay you again. Oh, he won't be able to get here. What He's too heavy. Wait him down. And he Put a barrel can't. on him and blew him out later. Does it, it does it work like you. that? Can you do that? If you are free to walk in daylight, can you? Okay, are we going to get some noms too? this time? Last time free we went for the boar. I don't know what. Oh, First, this could be risky. Thou shalt Trying this on the auto run. I do have inspiration. Creatures. Now Be we know Gale is spicy bile. Sleeping. So it's between Lazel and Shadowheart. How badly do you need to know? Okay. Do we want to have a nibble? Shadow. I think in Shadowheart. I mean, he just talked about what, what, wondering what the gift tastes like. Hmm. I'm gonna let chat pick. Shadow Heart or Lazel? You're not risking it on or not. I don't know what happens if you fail, honestly. I don't actually know. Maybe they're just yellow as a bit. We're taking a risk. <laughs> Okay, everyone wants to take a nibble out of Shadowheart. I mean, Gale would know straight away. You can smell the sweetness mm. of her skin. No. <laughs> Am I gonna regret this? <laughs> Bite down carefully. Okay, Astarian, I'm just saying that you have a lot of proficiency here. So if you do fail this, it's going to be embarrassing, okay? Also, it's honor mode, so best dice rolls, please. How do we get a snack? You don't think she'd smell? Wait, why is that? <laughs> why do you think Shadow Heart smells bad? Blood gushes into your mouth. You can feel it filling the more inside you. I love his ugly vampire bite face. Soul. It's just when when he bites Tav, you just see this like horrific, ugly face, and then he moves back, and then suddenly he looks like a cute puppy. He's the only man who can do both. Chat lets out a sigh of relief. Yeah, this was this was dangerous. Oh shoot. Okay, we <laughs> some wisdom saving throw. 
Okay, it's only a five. It's only a five a star in. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's nat twenty. We're good. <laughs> Two nat twenties today. You fall back. She the she's definitely a heavy sleeper. Coating your throat. You creep back to your bed with a full belly and singing. Oh, because she's been on the run, trapped in a tank as well, full of weird liquid. I mean, that's a good point. Happy. It doesn't seem like they've had time to shower yet. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was risky. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they can just flat out die. Oh, oh dear. Are we a little, are we a little tired, darling? Oh, oh no. Must have slept today. funny. Hard to rest in this wilderness. Yes, that must be it. <laughs> hmm. First in magic, are you? Make sure we keep up with our own conversation wise so we don't have any accidents. Um, I'm not. Why do you ask? No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice <laughs> on from the Tell master. her it's our arthritis catching up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Chatter already. She's almost Tusky. 50. God's favorite princess. So maybe she's like the princess from Princess in the Pea. Yeah, just like the slightest bump and she can't sleep. Hmm. You look unusual. Gifyanki is so rare I in these parts. In your first. Hmm. I think you would have known of them, but maybe never crossed paths with them, yeah. I know of Gifyanki, but I've never met of one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often. <laughs> These are coming them. in very strong with that the frets today. That fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. <laughs> oh come on now, it isn't that large. I can just see him like doing this. <laughs> Look at his face. Because <laughs> he can't remember. He can't remember if he has a big nose or not. He just assumes that his face is amazing. Decadent then, lacking in economy, like so much of this world and its undisciplined <laughs> no. people. Mm. Okay. All right, so let's get out of here and do the fight. Direct me. My faith will guide me. Just so we don't have it during the fight there. All right, let's go. Keep distance, darling. Don't linger. Where are we? Oh, oh, okay. I'm going the wrong way around. <laughs> we want advantage. Up high. All right, we'll just shadow horror to. There was a little bit of this. We'll run it. Over there. Hopefully we'll get lucky with the initiative. Open the bloody we don't, day. it's okay. Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Open the gate, Zevlor, now. I think we've got two inspirations so here. far. Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Nine hells! Open the gates! Hopefully, a straightforward fight. Well, 
the, I guess, ex-husband now. <laughs> and suffer it sting. I think by the epilogue they'd already uh, eloped. Really? No, I have advantage. I'm right behind her. Um. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll pick up Karlak pretty early, is the plan. We'll pick her up nice and early. Like, when we go around to where our scratch is, we'll, we'll grab her. roll pity how did lazel roll last on initiative that's a really bad roll <laughs> every so really only astarian rolled well there it looks like everybody else did pretty bad All right may it please mistra gale continuing to roll poorly He does better when he's a cleric. <laughs> I'm a little worried now. Oh, Shadowheart's really far back. Goodness. Got to press on. Hmm. Okay, let's put that there. Give it a whack. Give it a miss. she can reach. Not much she can do. I'm just gonna skip. She was too far back. Keep going into cell. Hi, water. How you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome. So far, so good. Oh, she's. Except her. She's not doing too peachy. <clears throat> Keep the uh, gale up here. That was a 90. How did you miss that? <laughs> oh, we moved Sol last year. Nice. How have you been enjoying Sol? Save the spell rolls again. Spell slots. Victory awaits. Taking position. Nice. Laser will come in through at least. Can you finish him off? I think you can. Yeah. No trace. He 
jumping around a lot. It can be, yeah, it can be at times. It's very, depending on where you are, it can feel very heavy city, can't it? I miss the countryside too, myself, at times. Oh, that was nice. All right, go Liz out. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was doing so well, and then I don't know if you saw it, but she slipped on the ice. The <laughs> I love the falling animations. They're just they're so cartoonish. It's great. That was the last of them. Inside, Nobody, no one saw that. <laughs> Open the gate. Oh, they're all dead already. Oh, okay. Right. There's nothing like a good killing to loosen up the joints. <laughs> they were too Stars like it just merely uh, warming up today. Other than bloodshed. Taste of goblins to come, I fear. There's a horde nearby. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Sure, he's dead. I think is that all the bodies? Oh, we didn't we didn't get this one. And then finally everyone else leveled up. I'm gonna go thief. Loot star in, yes, he's our loot goblin. I think everyone's gonna get a respec at some point. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Divinity Original Sin 1 played up the slips in Greece on ice for laughs. It captioned each fall. My favorite caption was hammer time as they fell. That's amazing. Oh, Larian, you're the best. I see much more bloody battles than this. Consider yourself lucky. And, and he's like, mm, blood. <laughs> Show some respect. This man Imagine him just getting really distracted life. every time the topic of blood Why comes up or like goddamn help. bloody Please, violence because he just gets hungry. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to All right, who are we punching? <laughs> are we going to try and persuade them not to be violent or are we going to punch one of them? We can also intimidate. And we got a good chance at passing any of these, so. What do you want to do, chat? You want to take a swing? Or convince them not to fight? How are we feeling today? Oh! Four, smack, free! <laughs> We're getting very mixed responses right now. <laughs> free. Punching Aradin's very cathartic. 4-4, four, four, free, free, two. I guess free. If Zevlog gets knocked out, you can pickpocket his gloves. <laughs> well, we were going to do the cargo route for that. Um, okay, so we're gonna go free. If you want to, to, if you want me to take you both down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Always happy as well. All right. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. I'm surprised Gail approved of that. Agree on that. You would say, don't waste the roll. If we failed, I wouldn't have re-roll. Who cares? All that matters is finding a healer. <laughs> Starring does not want to get involved in whatever's going on there. Hard, 
but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you. You just like Aradin more than most of the characters. All three chosen what, more than Wolbrand. Mm. I take my thanks in coin. <laughs> then you'll have better luck looting the goblins outside. This oh. is a druid's grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will not more than Wolbrand. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, right. Hmm. Oh, I have no quarrel with the druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outside. Wolbrand's a big bad. Yeah. Nobody's we chucked him anymore. in the river last They've started time. started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay. You can't we'll trust a person who doesn't leave. hate Wilburn. We are no fighters. Mm. Right, well, I need a healer. <laughs> Enough about you, more about me. <laughs> Goblin got you. The druid house ends are renowned They're in your top five ur list. But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's Nettie. with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Justice for Barkus, right, Mike? All right. Well, we'll ask him what brought him here. We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnomes attacked us on the road. We were bound for Before I said gnomes gate, for a second there. And it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent. An infernal oh, conspiracy it's history. that He's had seen up on the it. entire city of El Torel briefly dragged to the hells. Okay. Hmm. Well, if your people survive that, they'll survive anything. So I hoped. Hello, Momo. We've lost so many already. Hashtag Barkus deserves and better. And will die if right? we're forced out again. You okay, Momo. <laughs> right. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Ooh. Trade we are. He's got no money. Thank he wasn't you joking. Again, he really has no money. If you'll excuse me. Arden has I'd this way of speaking that's so... Uh, if it wasn't for his choice of words, no vote rate to them. Arden, Arden would be nobody's character that you forget quickly. And then even when you meet him in Act 3, he's also insufferable then, too. Keeping an eye out, making sure she's not coming over here. Well, he's not going to need them anymore because he's dead. Waste not, want not. Sometimes they put a grave here if, like, Zevlor dies, I noticed. Just a fun little tidbit there. There's a mod to turn Wolbrun into camp supplies. This really isn't the time to Make talk. him useful. Not now. Oh, where did the other two? Oh, I don't know where the other two went. Must have left already. Oh, Zavlor. Um, oh, well, you know, it's like if he, if something happens to him, um, before the road raid, he'll be buried there. Does that make sense? Like, if you kill him in the place where he goes to hang out, for example, but nobody finds out about it. Now they see me. What's next, I wonder? Alright. Oh, just okay, we'll bring everybody in. Let's spill some blood. I will ascend. Oh, Lazel's so far back. Be a 
gentlemen. Job done. Step light. You have good timing. Never been much. You thought that was Roland so for a second. A would have gone <laughs> Roland's a little poorly. further in. No worries, I hope. You're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your mm. skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it. Fair and square. Hmm. Oh, you got me. Hand over the coin and I'll be on my way. <laughs> We've already found two of those. So I feel like it'd be interesting collecting more. We don't really know what it's for yet, but... She did... She also said we smelled, so... You know, even more reason to rob her, right? You don't want to eat Wolverine. You want to have any... You just don't want anything to do with Wolverine. <laughs> that bloody Irony's. Devils just can't stand to lose. <laughs> Pity. Here. Now go back to the pit that made you. <laughs> rude. <laughs> just turning to the others like, what? She was rude. Don't judge me. Mmm. Yeah, it is a pretty precept. Put those gloves on him. I'm having a really hard time picking up the, uh, clicking on the animals today. It's a wonder they survived even this long. Mm-hmm. Chit chit. Lunges at your foot and He's getting bullied it. by a squirrel. Hey, hippie, how you doing? Hope you're well. All right, we'll try animal handling. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own on her. <laughs> They're territory. so cute. Looking around, they're shocked when you play Dark Earth. Extends from one and you encounter the, the squirrel for the first time. Another. I'm doing all right, thanks. Yeah, not too bad. I hope you're good too. Mm -hmm. I'll try and scold her. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. <laughs> After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble. She scurries away. Oh, nice. We got that. <laughs> Potential auto mode end. <laughs> oh, you're finally home. Even your earrings are hurting. Oh, goodness. Because they've just been in for so long today. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hippie. <laughs> Over on the Twitch team? You look like he was playing an air guitar then. Well <laughs> right, here's Aaron. And thank you for beating. Is there anything you need? Yes. Trade. First, you... Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. <laughs> so, so, for some reason, we were able to sell some stuff to Cazador during the dream sequence scene. So, it's going to be interesting to see if he has those items we sold him on him later on. He had gold on him, too. He had, like, 300. So I just sold him a bunch of stuff. You're on your dark urge when you run into her, but you don't recall anything of note happening. Ah, but you might have had animals speaking on. Maybe you're able to avoid it that way. It's one of those moments where the urge can kind of take over. And you get your first dark urge moment potentially. Mm 
You can finally sell all this stuff we picked up. Oh, I forgot to give her that. So we want some of those. Where's his health potions? Then we'll start collecting strength potions from Auntie Ethel. Um, as well. Free for a level up and long rest. With Auntie Ethel. Sylvanas. Talk to Roland. No worries. Sleep well. Yeah, we've got to decide tomorrow's stream's gonna start at 5 p.m. ET or a little small talk. A 6 p.m. ET. It's a little weird because it's like our lives, our futures on people who are as good as it's dead. Usually a little easier for me to adjust that on a day off, but can we all just take what does everyone prefer? Please. Six PM ET or five PM ET? Bear in mind it'll be them. about an hour later stay. for these people aren't fighters. We can help. Europe. Yell louder. That's fine too. However, Wednesday will be five PM ET. Wednesday, one hundred percent is going to be five PM ET. It's just. It's just tomorrow that's tricky. You did have an unfortunate encounter with Steelclaw in Moonrise, though. Oh no! Wait, was this was that an honor or or a dirge? Mm. We gotta persuade them to stay because if they leave, they die. They should all stay. Single blade could make a difference. Six, because you get off work at five. <laughs> So when, Wednesday for sure is going to be 5 p.m. Um, because I know Thank otherwise it's, it's the too right late to for our European it. crowd. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. But maybe Fine, tomorrow will be six. Guess you both end up with your throat slit by so it'll be easier blade. for me to adjust the, my Thank schedule you, on the two days off than it will be uh, tomorrow tonight. Because <laughs> I've also got to fix the wig after stream too. Ah, we'll uh, just dirge. So you're able to sort of go back a little bit at least. Nice. Alright, we'll pick Will up a little bit later. You like later, but that's you. Okay. I'll let everyone know for sure in the Discord. Uh, later tonight. Also, look out for the YouTube live stream going up as well. You can put a notification on then. Thanks right. for fighting off those goblins. Me, 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 me. Pretty slim. I had to leave most of my oh. elsewhere. <laughs> I nearly attacked her. <laughs> I was just trying to skip the dialogue because I didn't want to hear him talk. And um, I almost whacked him. <laughs> okay, he's got one hand crossbow for us. Good, good. I know, the subconscious came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not really interested in hearing him talk, honestly. <laughs> After what happened. Um... Mm, breastplate is the best early game. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, okay. So, we got one hand crossbow. We need two. Um, we'll probably have one after the next long rest, honestly. For us. We should probably get that before we do the harpies. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to Ethel first and just get those strength potions because they're important. We need to really start stocking up on those. Double clicking it. <laughs> the misclick, I, especially on auto mode, because if you, you know, that would have been the what the entire grove trying to attack us very early on. 
And it, it, we're in the middle of the grove, so it'd be very difficult to get out of it as well. What happens at the Magic Tower if you go against Lorican and if Roland dies in Act 2? Uh, then Roland just isn't there. And I don't think anyone takes over the... T I guess you don't get help from the Wizard Tower because Lorican's visage stays at the front desk. So I guess you just miss out on potential help at the brain. Honor mode is intense. But that's what makes it fun, right? Uh, if we die, we will, yeah. Though the plan is to do it the first time. I mean, the test run is already in Act 3. That went pretty well. I haven't had a single... Oh, I'm I, I, you know, it's like I want to say it, but I feel like if I do, I'm going to drink myself. Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Mmm, we'll take it for the... Look, it ain't the rest much, of them. but it might make all the difference. <laughs> They can the have it. To make it to Baldur's Gate is to run and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What do I do for some salt? Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. <laughs> Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh, interesting. Now, Auntie Ethel, we love. <laughs> <in> the sun. <laughs> Ain't seen that before, and Auntie <laughs> Ethel's seen her fair share. Still, you're looking a little pasty. She of, calls us out straight away. Up. But the rest of the group don't know. It's funny. Even though she... I mean, that was a big clue. Strutting about. And yeah, she knows. Well, let her fuss. Uh -huh. Yeah, she clocked us immediately. As rain, Which again suggests there's something unusual about Auntie Ethel. Uh, might this concoction help with something a little more... <sighs> Serious. Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? <gasps> you always tell her, what's her response to that? Telling her you're going to put her in boiling oil. <laughs> Dark Urge Embrace does not get many allies by potentially a lot. Yes. <laughs> you lose a lot of people in that one. Mm, I have a, a condition, a, an unusual one. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. <laughs> the wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. It's an image, that. But worry not. Dabbling I'll with a dryad. And depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I'll yeah, see so, what. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, she is we're gonna be to know of getting a lot of those from her. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? Yeah, we What's don't want to... I kind of wanted to stay here for a little while. Hmm. If we tell her... Oh, there's nothing wrong, I swear. Everything's fine. As you wish, Petal. I think no, then she'll stay. I have a few yeah, level ups as well, yeah. Level ups and rests. Hey, bother. I can't see! <laughs> Start stocking up on those invisibility potions too. Oh, Sammy, welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! I hope you're having a lovely day today. I hope you had a lovely stream too. Welcome! How's it going? <laughs> We're just at the beginning of our honor run right now. <laughs> What were you playing today? Streaming some Empire Oh, Empyrean, what's that? Uh, yes, this is our first on stream on a run uh, that we're doing now. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Nina. Ziggy's trying to make you take a nap. Cats do that. They like it when you take a nap when they do. Mmm, how was it? I've not played that before. Sounds like a is it a space I'm assuming it's a space game, right? Take 
Okay. She does have one there, but it's incredibly difficult to steal. I think she's immediately like, what are you doing? Okay. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do that just now. We don't want to tempt fate at the moment. Mm, we'll deal with that situation later. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit like Space Engineers. Oh, okay. Mm, when did that game come out? I've not heard of it before. But I'm glad you had a lovely stream. We are just in the early part of our honor run right now. <laughs> Oh! Oh dear. He keeps failing those today. Might not be a good sign. Don't want them to sit. No, no. <laughs> I don't want them to take my gold. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. It came out before Space Engineers by, I think, a few months or something. Oh, it's, it's a small indie studio that made it. Mm. Nice sight of ham. Hammers flourish, right? Uh, I never learned names or anything. Just the tricks. <laughs> anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Oh, they improved the AI, AI a little bit. So it was a little smoother to play. I'm going to take the ring. Oh, well, let's do the reverse. Yeah. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of advantages for if he fails to be quite embarrassing. <laughs> Don't think we need guidance. Hmm. That's definitely a path. Shadowheart's enjoying that trick hells. too. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. We're gonna pocket it. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> mm. You're getting a paid in experience, kid. The ring's mine now. Fine, keep it. Call it a sample, yeah? <gasps> but you gotta at least look at the other rings, okay? I gotta eat. I don't know if he's gonna pass the check. Okay, should we have a look or leave? Yes, we paid him in the life lesson there. You want to give it a go? I mean, it's not much. I, we, well, we can get it back anyway, can't we? Let's try. Really? I, I mean, good. <laughs> as soon as he says really, you know you made a mistake there. Oh, he, he saw that. Get some more thieves tools. You bought some. You suddenly oh feel my God, something straight away. against your back <laughs> and turn. Hmm. Okay, we got rogue. Oh, I can see him say that. Well, now someone's starting young. Who taught you that? One of the big kids. How... How did you catch me? Oh. Yeah. How else? You're clumsy. A dead man could have caught you. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll try harder not to get caught we, next we've, time. We've taught them two life lessons now. Bye. You like calling heads just until he gives you the ring? Oh, because it's... Because, yeah, it's just basically a scam, isn't it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Literally said the dead man. Let I know, right? There was some irony right in that. She's a thief, hell spawn. I know, bless her, right, guard. Judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Ooh. So I was born and bred before the self esteem movement. <sighs> Let's go. We're, we are starting to approach the harpies. <laughs> you had a good time a with the chance. lucky ring, did you? you get back. 
Hmm. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by with go by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Take back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. <laughs> I understand. You got an appointment. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. There's something I have to get from Volo. Before he leaves. Yes. yes, I see. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them. I think up I can close? use a shop. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Hmm. Does he have it on him? Yeah, the whispering promise. That's what we want. How much is that? 270. I'm just going to stick with that for now, I think. The rest of it's mods. Um, <laughs> and there's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Too busy getting rid of this tadpole. Yes, a certain ring useful for clerics, exactly. <laughs> All right, fine. Glory. Nothing. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, <laughs> distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zavlar's gloves are also going to get as well by doing the cargo thing. Volo is in. This is an unhealthy obsession. <laughs> Um, they were the same, yeah, goblins, the same as all the others. Lowly, vile, goblins bit smelly. struck fear and awe in the heart of a wilting witness. A myth weaver. <laughs> this man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? <laughs> dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses. I think we would have seen it. To notice the obvious dragon. <laughs> Last question. Then you'll be quite free. Did the attack? It's the way he said dragon. The when they fell upon the gates. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. I was concentrating more on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again... I hate well, him, he's great, right? Volo chosen Mr. and Mr. might want to redo on that. Very camp. She reports I mean, she has many chosen for this reason. In favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. You never trust the monster manual after seeing Volo's relationship with facts, right? <laughs> uh, goblin superstition, not even worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just mm -hmm. preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. <clears throat> just leave. <laughs> we just be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to do. I don't think that bear cares too much if you steal something in front of him. I think he really reacts to it. Let's go. Wait, okay, let's send Lazel. She can jump better. Then <laughs> the leaf jump scare. Um, we could try. Be nice to have. Repositioning. We can do it now. Moving. Let's try. I don't 
don't think he cares. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> Watch the shadows. Usually he's facing that way. I don't know why he's facing this way this time. You gonna get us more fish? Maybe he's broken. Too lazy. Uh, da, 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 da. Shadow heart. Shadow heart. My face protects me. Don't touch me. Nope. <laughs> No, he's not. He's not doing his thing. Maybe I'll tell the bear to move, or maybe just toss that fish. And try animal handling first. Oh, okay, let's go. We already know we can play the flute, that's true. Hi Doc, how you doing? I hope you're well, welcome. How's it going? she can jump up there without the vaulting potion Careful, I bite. which we don't have right now so we'll we'll come back for that but that's the, the, the thingies in the chest there <laughs> the key we just picked up the bird doesn't need it all right <laughs> find our master speak hmm what were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Hmm. Oh. They help defend this grove. Not your enemy. Also, we love a good gossip. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. Ideally, we it want to save no Arabella too, I think. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. <laughs> they, they do have quite a lot of attitude for a group of druids, don't they? Oh, she's got a shop, too. <laughs> mm. You still haven't told me what you were doing with the bird. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone... Well, pray that he is not. Hmm. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping to prepare I it? I prefer not to. But if mm. Master Halson does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Alright. Let's go see Korga. Madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? I always forget how much I dislike Korga, and then we meet her again, and I'm like, I yeah. Devil. <laughs> I remember why and now. I will cast out every stranger. <laughs> At level 16, which does not exist in this game, <laughs> she just opens her mouth, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> thief, poison. What's this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her the up. impressed now. She remains here until the rite is complete. Still the idol, didn't and she? Keep still, devil. Tila is restless. <laughs> it's exactly like that, Basil. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. You want to pull out her hair extensions? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are you saying half her hair is fake? Hmm. I'm trying to detect her thoughts first. Mm. 
Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Hmm. You've proven your authority. Now prove your mercy. Fair words. Child. <laughs> Sorry, Lazo. Take to the others word we of want our, We I ideally want Arabella to stay alive. Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. It's Master interesting that Shadowheart approves of it, but Shara does not. Keep his name off your tongue. Lest Tila pierce it. I feel like that already shows her views are pretty conflicting with Shar at times. Because... Not very Sharon of her, I suppose. Talk to Gail. Tiring business, also, we'll it? be in Gail's good books. This traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow mm. ourselves a few moments of rest. Oh, you're wanting There's items no already? Gail, I don't but have anything for you to eat. Rather important. <sighs> hmm. I assume it might have something to do with this mysterious, mysterious protocol of yours. Putting two and two together, I see. We've been on the road together. I think for she a has a soft now, spot for them, you? doesn't she, George? Yeah. You survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. When you, when if you, you talk to the snake, the it's the snake's Zephyr also pretty bad, to be honest. You, got you speak to, to animals with it. The way you followed the protocol and brought me back to life. In short, I've grown to trust you. Karga is nuts, but kind of attractive. She's hot and crazy. <laughs> it seems hard to get Shadowheart to be a good Sharon. You have to kind of pressure her into it from my experience. Yeah, you can kind of, you always get this feeling that her true nature is pulling against it, don't you? Mm. He he got he stood in a doorway and died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. He got stuck in a doorway. Everyone else was fine. It was just Gale. He decided he was going to be the tank. You see, <laughs> that didn't end well for him. <laughs> Enough with the flattery. Where's this going? Been quite sincere, I assure. <sighs> you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living right, soul. Right, right. He was very gale of him. Cat. You see, I have this condition. Mm. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. <laughs> His face is like, what? <laughs> uh, so you've been lying to me this whole time? Wonderful. I am what I am. I never lied to you. I've merely been economical. That's lying, truth. darling. The specifics <laughs> are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. <laughs> what it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. <sighs> Goodness me. Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? No, no, it's nothing like that. Magic isn't a narcotic to me. It's quite literally a lifesaver. He's asking for an enabler. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high. <laughs> and the you think that book he's always reading is smart. for a humble wizard to face alone. I am curious what Gale reads. Apparently, artifact, um, before we were abducted. Only a matter of time book has what is suspiciously a picture of Dritz Jorgen in it? I, I saw a you. post about people talking I need about you it. To help me find magic items to consume. It should kind of make sense. Dare I say it? Critical. I'm not a liar and I'm an exaggerator and I'm okay with that, Gail. Basically. Hmm. Where do you suggest we find these artifacts you're looking for? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your Absolutely possession. Absolutely not. I'm you wearing it, darling. How hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required um, to assuage I did on my, my over honor run. On this one, he's going to be a cleric. Involved. But yeah, his, his barbarian screen's pretty funny. It's very timid. <laughs> 
Hmm. So, in the test run, I had him as a barbarian fighter, and then I changed him into a monk. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside in this for me. <laughs> then I suggest you look closer. <laughs> Maybe we're not romancing Gail this time. Like me around is quite the <laughs> I keep upsetting the him. That stalk these lands. Far harder for me to assist you if I can barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Oh, we, darling, I, I already played your magical flute. <sighs> Very well. I'll do my best to get what you need. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, See, you are not going to approve of that. Not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic Tim and treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Gale is Crying a lore bard is funny, because <laughs> his insults are very Gale. I, hope I can count on you. Hey, Shadowheart wants to talk to you. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. <laughs> They're both nothing lying. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Mm -hmm. It's just something I have to live with. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Mm. And how badly does it hurt? Quite a lot. If I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Mm. Alright. Let's go get that thing of Corgus. things while we're on the way. Sure they won't miss them. A little souvenir. Fabio and Mistra would be amazing on a romance novel called Did you just call Gail Fabio? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess he has the hair. Right? As a, uh, Gale as a barbarian would be Fabio. Would he be like holding Mister on his shoulder or something? <laughs> like Mister on one shoulder, axe in the other hand. Subtle steps. Certainly. Right, time to talk to Nettie. A long way to go still. What a day. Should be fine. I see you. Just give me a moment. Mm -mm. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm more important than some bird. <laughs> God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. <laughs> Just because that's what I feel like that's what there. he'd say. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? <laughs> right. I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Mm, healing as soon as possible. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Mm. 
More than tired. Something crawled into my eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? It may have. Um, oh. Keep stopping conversations to buy things off people. Mm. <laughs> Whatever kind are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. That's a serious. You tried to romance Gale on this honor run, and the star I just gave you the luck, and now you're second guessing. <laughs> he always does that. <laughs> we need to. Be so now you're like, mm, on second thoughts, Gale. Sorry, I might, I might go after a star, girl. Everybody, get in here. <laughs> Why she closes the door? If you're unlucky, you can end up in here alone. She apparently sells the elixir. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tadpole crawled It's gonna happen again now. After. <laughs> hmm. Hoping for a less grave cure. Not suspicious at all. I do the best I can. I'm no master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. Ah, she only thinks we have it. Vested interest in the outcome. All right. Would a starian? He would what we can kill do. her over um, agreeing to take a potion on his life, probably. Because she might tell other people. Mm. Oh, just hurry up and cure me. I don't have time to chat. First things first. Tell me. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not just symptoms. Any strange events? Hmm. Oh, nothing strange. I just want it out of my nothing? head. You sure? Um, well, he wants to control it. So he needs to find someone who understands it so he can control it. Nothing, I'm sure. All right. I suppose that makes things easier. Give me your arm, please. Absolutely not. <laughs> you came to me for help. Do you want it or not? A starring could ruin my life. I have to stop romancing. I have to romance Gale at least once, but I miss my sweet spawn. Have you hit the... Are you close to, like, the point of no return with both of them now, then, where you're going to have to make a choice? Hmm. What is that? A cure. Now your arm, please. You She's a very bad liar. No, I'm leaving. No, I can't let you leave. You could transform any second. This is the last time I'll ask. Please. You're not asking. This is a threat. To hell's with it. Oh, she just went straight for it. <laughs> Attack her first, kill her quickly. <laughs> Failed the check, I think. Time Get uh, Lazelle in there. Go and give her a whack. This is your end. <laughs> Shall I cut and run? We'll do it my way. Hmm. Oh, she can see me there. What fools these mortals be! <laughs> Talk to me. Time to meet your maker. <laughs> There's something in that vessel. That was a scream. Take a closer look. Goodness. I trust next time someone asks if we have a mind player tadpole in the <laughs> we'll consider lying. <laughs> I kind of miss that early access line where he'd be like, and we also learned you're an idiot. <laughs> if you uh, tell Nenny about it and that happens. <laughs> it's one of those lines I feel like they should have kept in. Well, hello. Because it's just so very Astarian to call you an idiot after something like that. 
Super Freaky Gale romance scene is definitely worth it at least once. I still haven't seen the whole thing. The, just the, uh, the part we did on stream. Apparently it was too spicy. But let's at least see if there's a... Don't linger. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, because he says, and you're an idiot, and then he turns to the camera, doesn't he? Like he's saying it to the player, and then turns back to Tab. They really should have kept it in. It was, it was brilliant, honestly. Oh, good night, Jay. See you later. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Um, you had to hold back so many times during one of your runs in order to romance Gale, but it was worth it. You ended up, you like Gale in the end. Hmm. What's that? This is one of the reasons why we're playing a star in as well. It's because otherwise you're not going to see the other romance options with me. <laughs> it's going to, with Shadowheart, it's going to be a challenge. Because I don't think she'd go for him personally. I know, so many so many great moments we missed out on. But I understand they had to cut some of it. It's very sweet when he doesn't ascend. Both Gale and Starin have that Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they both turn pretty insufferable when they ascend, don't they? Like, Gale, do you remember when Gale in the Origin run told us he could help Astarian with the sun, places. you know, and, the missing druid. but he, he, he was wasn't it? going to because he, he didn't like meddling it, in mortal affairs. All right. <laughs> Just after everything he'd been through, you know, he couldn't help a friend out. No. What have you been through? A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. How Get some rest. We need to keep sharp. Then let's find him. Time is short. Assuming he's even still alive. When... Oh, I, I'm gonna go for the. Yeah. Let's go find him. Talking that way. So okay, good. So we can get surprised. Need to press onward. Oh, let's get this over with. Uh, you sent him a new dirge embrace, and after talking to a star in a few times, dirge is gonna have to take a star in out, or he'll mess up with. It. Honestly, I feel like they would kill each other, but my money is on dirge. Not on a starian. He's too cocky. He's gonna get himself in trouble. Unheard, unseen. Nice. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. I don't think that statue's eyes are glowing to provide illumination. Let's be careful. Right. Make sure we turn that off. Evil dirge that was a spell last minute so they can be fully evil themselves and not due to Bell. Now that you really want to try. They did say they're working on some new evil endings, you know, that we're going to get. So, 
I, I was thinking it might be worth Trap. saving the dirge oh, evil <laughs> run until until that happens, because there there's going to be some new endings added. Sven said they're really evil. You're not sure how Dirge and Brace endings are. Ah, uh, you stopped and you're waiting. Yeah, so you're we are raiding as well for the same reason. He's been failing these the most. Yeah, yeah, so we had um, our first Dirge at the beginning. And we had a couple of accidents and um, a couple of embracing and then sort of after um act yeah during act two she was resisting a lot more Make sure we take that one out. All right. Wolbrun was the emperor all along. <laughs> Nobody would side with him if the emperor was Wolbrun. Oh. Right, I'm excited for them too, Exotic. Yeah, because you know, you know they're going to be good. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was going to die. Because yeah, here. right now the problem is when you do an evil ending, they're very, very, very short, especially in comparison to the content you get for the the nicer endings. Hmm. I'm surprised the goblins didn't get you on site. Uh, why didn't they? They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them the only weapons here are the ones the foul. Oh, brought. thanks. I don't think I've I, I heard about it, but happened. I don't think I've seen I it. Uh, Rubix, I'm don't curious. <laughs> And thank you again. Oh, thank you. It's in the entertainment section of the Discord. If anyone wants to see that. What, what was he playing? Was it Captain Hook, you said? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, he's playing Captain Hook. <laughs> Something over there. Kind of annoying that even with the Shar and Shadow Heart, she still disapproves of Dirge stuff. She should recognize Baal's eternal death is more in line with Shar. I mean, maybe it just goes to show that, you know, her true nature just isn't with Shar. Maybe it's a, a bit of a nod to that, you know? What level are we? Are we free? I think we're free, aren't we? I will do a long rest before we go to the Harpies. Should be fine in the silence bubble and charm. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. I mean, oh, uh, if they mm, there's like a worst case scenario where we do a silence bubble and calm emotions, you know, like they um, break the concentration of one and then the other, and then we're left with none. <laughs> that is a Possibility. Go get those spiders. That I never end up using and always forget about. Now Larian's cooking up a good good meal for evil playthroughs. Yes, if you're if you're wondering what play for you to do next, maybe save your evil run until those new endings are added. <laughs> You know you're going to get a good meal with Larian. I mean, think about just how fantastic the epilogue was. That was like a mini DLC. The amount of content they made for it. Okay, I was like, I was wondering if Raphael was going to pop up or not. Shaw's all about people embracing darkness and nothingness. Plus, the less soul-worshipping a god, the less powerful the god is except Crazy Ball. A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. 
the words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about what Aya they told me earlier about the kind of literature that uh, Raphael's voice actor has been well, um, doing audiobooks for. Very much at your service. Hmm. <laughs> pleasure. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Oh, we gotta do kitty cat drinks as well. Let's do them after Raphael. So I don't forget. There, middle of somewhere. Hey, Dorf, how you doing? Welcome. Hmm. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest. <laughs> it's the, the place where I usually run into Raphael. Lavishly. <laughs> Go on, partake, enjoy yourself. You're such a great voice. After all, it might just <gasps> We should have a friend where you, you know, so you could do a starry and Raphael for Halloween. That would be an amazing duo. Because the outfits are kind of similar, too. Um, they're just like different colors, I think, with slightly different patterns. Hmm. Are these theatrics leading anywhere? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Has anyone been tempted to give Raphael the crown before? <laughs> Raphael, best antagonist, and if you disagree, come fight me, says uh, Exotic. Than a devil you don't know. Yeah, the music alone for his fight <laughs> is so good, you right? Do. Am I a friend? <laughs> yeah, Aya said it wasn't um, particularly. Basically, he was the saving grace of that uh, literature. <laughs> that's for certain. Mm. I don't care what you are. I care about what I want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture. An oh, answer. are you doing it right now? It's worth I haven't had a playthrough where I've done that yet. With a tadpole in Curious your head. if he takes over everybody or One not, or if skull, he just two keeps tenants, his word. And no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Hmm. I don't read it, but if Raphael and Oren's voice actors are in it, I might. <laughs> You're like, they can change my mind. Um, and that's why you're doing it. Yeah, because you want to you see the ending. Mm. You're mad if you think I'm going to make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind. Before mm -hmm. it's I have a feeling I'll uh, not. <laughs> Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. He's so hope. sure of himself. <laughs> You played it four times now, five times if you count Such the honor mode, and it amazes you how every word he says in this first encounter is so true. <laughs> I mean, he enjoys a good game, doesn't he, Raphael? Yeah, it is, it's true, yet the player is none the wiser, absolutely. He knows that uh, no one else is going to be able to get rid of it. Um... Mm, I mean, no. I, I would say it is out of character purely because he, when you're not playing him, he he does agree that you shouldn't give it to him. I think it would depend. And now, if it was, I'll get rid of Casador if you give me the crown. Maybe you would then. But in that particular situation, 
that deal with the crown, he, he generally advises against. Because he doesn't like the idea of Raphael having it. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, if becoming a, if it was that or becoming a mind flayer, maybe then you would. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so, so foreboding for what is to come, right, Mike? Hmm. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy Okay, brain. so for Raphael, which version of Raphael do you prefer? Do you prefer Devil Raphael or um, they human Raphael? Yet. Have they? Which Raphael does One it for you? Say, you're a <laughs> I'm so curious. I'll be there. Do you, do you like the, the devil? Dead. Human both. <laughs> we don't really see him in his cambium form too much, do we? You like cambium? Voice even on a goblin is fine by me. If you don't help a star and become a vampire ascendant, you can't call it what? I'm sorry, excuse me. Can we rewind here? <laughs> you, you what? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> Can can you can 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 you repeat that for me so I know where we're going with this? <laughs> I'm I'm slightly concerned. Um Okay, let's try it. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. That was a very hot take. Gold coin it's such a hot take, I'm I'm like, did I read that correctly? <laughs> Clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt <laughs> a spider egg is nestled within. Oh, goodness. Sweet. Sometimes a good friend is all about saving you from yourself. The spiders scatter, and you happiness is different from power. Something clings. If you love him, you coins. give him power, but then you continue the cycle of abuse, so you're not really helping him. You're continuing... You're continuing the abuse and trauma. So I feel like that's not good. Maybe that's just me. And that, that's at least been my take on the story. Though everyone's welcome to their own interpretation. <laughs> okay, we got the spiders. Baby spiders. Let's give. We'll just give uh, Gale guidance <laughs> for now. now Extra guidance. Well, hello. I love how we've got that little tidbit of that Raphael song coming through. You do, yeah. It it it's still love, but it's love in a the, the way that he loves after that is love in a very possessive, manipulative unhealthy nature isn't it yeah it's a little scary yeah power is all that matters and that growth and healing he was doing it just he um and, and you gotta remember the the ritual itself is diabolical in nature right nobody's gonna come out of a ritual diabolical in nature sacrificing seven thousand souls um, peachy on the other side. Uh, we've also got likely whenever he dies, and he will, because he's insufferable. <laughs> Someone's gonna get him. That's just guaranteed. Um, he's going straight to, uh, what, what was the god? Mesistopheles? He's going straight to him. 
It will probably end. Yeah, my money's on Dark Urge. <laughs> Taking him out. Mm, mm. Yeah, because then he'll become the Cazador to someone else, won't he? He'll become the Cazador to another spawn. It's, well, it, it's, it's, it's obsessive love is what I mean. He thinks it's love, but it's an obsession. Yeah. You feel like at this point it's no, yeah, and possessiveness, yeah. And the property, basically. He just seems super excited and empowered even after. If you don't romance him or know him from romance. Um, of course, he's got all these new powers and it's, you know, it's exciting, it's dangerous. He, he's wanting to know what he can do, but he also gets very cocky very quickly. But very quickly into the ascension, you can see the big difference and the ego rise and somehow he's even more selfish than he was before. My name is Lazy. And my kin will understand my need for servants. This tiefling's proof fragile. But you can, you can not send, but you can still, um, but you can, I mean, you can ascend him, not ascend him, and still get rid of the seven thousand spawn with the staff. So you don't need to ascend him to get rid of the spawn, because the staff can do that. <laughs> yes, it's killing seven thousand people, but <laughs> better than having them suffer being a monster and hunted down. But you can also get rid of them with the staff, without the ascension. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that point up again. We had the option. And tell only two things about him ascending is his reaction of seeing himself in the mirror. Yeah, that, that that is quite... Like, you feel for him in that moment when he sees himself in the mirror, yeah. And the extra necrotic damage you can do afterwards. I mean, in this playthrough, he probably is going to. On my, like, normal story playthroughs, I I don't like doing it. Because I don't, I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him when he ascends. Um, he's quite... He's a lot. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> Condemning 7,000 vampires to alter and to, to, to what a set of starring represents. Say none of them want to be. Well, I mean, they kind of, you know, the idea is sort of, if he got a chance, why can't they? There's that side to it too. Ascended Astarian makes me want to cat bath him. Yes. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much as soon as he opens his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I love how it just shifted to the side. Okay, we're gonna take an actual long rest now. Mm. But the beauty of this game is you can explore all the options, you know? If you want to ascend him, you can ascend him. If that's the happy ending for you, then so be it. And if you don't, then uh, yeah, yeah, you don't. That's, you can do what you want. Someone spent a lot of, a lot of work and hard time making all the different options for this game it's good to explore them and try them out you know and if you have a strong emotional reaction to it then it means it was really well written and really well acted no worries guard see you later have a good one thanks for hanging out <laughs> sleep well <laughs> now why can't gail just do this for astarian like give him like a mirror image or something I think we talked about this last time, like if mirror if that would work on a vampire so they could see themselves. Be with you in a moment. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Indulging in a spot of vanity. <laughs> Handsome devil, aren't I? <laughs> Did he just Either wink at himself? <laughs> Ceramorphosis. <laughs> what does it make you think of? There are rarely happy endings in games like this. I would argue the spawn ending is happy. I mean, it really sucks that he can't be in the sun anymore. And um, before they added the epilogue where he just ran off. Yeah, it was awful. Um, 
but I think the epilogue really homed in on that um, healing from trauma by breaking that cycle of abuse. It really, um, they really did well at like emphasizing that, I think. And it was just, it was just kind of, it made me tear up, honestly, the first time we saw it. It was really beautiful to see. Yeah, why, we can draw a doodle of a star in on Gail's forehead. <laughs> Tab didn't have any paper, so... Is, is he? Oh, I didn't know. Is he really colorblind? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Until recent, quite recently, nothing at all. Ah, uh, yes. I like Gale. Good Why do you days. hate Gale, Kara? Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and grain There skin. are Rubik's, yeah, Day so three, it's like, there's a chance. You know, that's why there's an orifices. option to go on the quest. Need to go on? Gale, I, I would agree. Gale hate is also a hot topic, a hot day. <laughs> hmm. He's just, he's just glowing, isn't he? Right, Whisper? And, like, he's so happy. And, like, the way he hugs the character is so different from, you know, Act 2, where he's, like, surprised and unsure about it. He's, like, really enjoying that hug. It's just, it's just, you just love to see it so heartwarming, honestly. Uh, you just started playing the game in the first time and you're starting to understand it a bit more. Ooh, any tips? So, how new are you to this kind of game? Um, so, have you played D&D &D before? Are you familiar with 5e rules? Um, are you, do you play a lot of turn-based games? That's a good place to start, to kind of like see where you are there, Shadow. You like Gale and Mistra? <gasps> Mike. <laughs> Gale, I understand, but Mistra? <laughs> uh, when a Mind Flayer and a random love each other very much, the Mind Flayer puts a tadpole in the guy's eyes, and in five to ten business days, a new Mind Flayer is born. You're saying that's how they get the Mind Flayer wife. <sighs> Gale is terrible and falls in love with you for making sure he doesn't blow up with everybody. I mean, to be fair... He's been in a tower alone for a very long time, okay? <laughs> He's not had much social interaction, bless him. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite ending, Exotic. I just, it's, I think it's very therapeutic for um, ending for survivors as well, because just seeing him happy, going through all that trauma, overcoming it, and then coming out on the outside more optimistic and really glowing and hopeful for the future is really a beautiful thing to see. And I think it can inspire hope in people, too. It's a really, really good ending. Brand new. Okay. Mm. All right. It's going to be a bit easier for me to show some tips when we're in combat. Um, but straight off the bat, you can utilize jump to get to an enemy you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach just by running to them. It does use up a bonus action, but um, it's better if you can get to that enemy and hit it and it dies, then you not reach it and it hit you. <laughs> so jump is really useful, especially for like your, uh, your um, fighter classes. Day We're going to be, like, getting up close and personal. The skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it um, you I think the they're both kind of up there, Dar. <laughs> maybe the star, the star in once caused more Twitter arguments, I would say. So maybe just just that like it depends depends on the environment in which you're bringing these up if you brought that up on twitter it would cause a nuclear explosion <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> um also send all your food to camp shadow you don't need to carry it around with you just send it to camp it'll go to your box you don't have to carry it it won't weigh you down then that's another really good tip I'm actually coming out with a tips video soon, so if you happen to be on YouTube, keep an eye out. Um, a lot of the tips are for beginners, but there's also some tips there for people who've maybe played once, and uh, just there's just some stuff they haven't known, they haven't seen yet. Um, a lot of tactical stuff for battle, but also uh, 
um, some tips for in between and just quality of life um, are going to be in that video too. Mm. I do, but you might as well Day finish the picture. The flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flare. I love it how born. any inconvenience Gail's like, well, what if I explode? <laughs> you didn't write. <laughs> it's a bit intense. Hmm. You love all the hot takes. It's, we can, you know, we're mature. We can have nice, friendly discussions about them. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Mm, he's starting to feel bad for never talking to Gale. Honestly, Gale's a sweetie when you get to know him, and he's very um, sweet in the romance, Riggle says as well. Riggle says he's one, he also will still love you even if you turn into a mind flayer. So, true love. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's, he's sweet. He's just been in that tower for a long time. It's your fave ending for him as well. It's just so lovely. <laughs> it was it was really hard not tearing up uh the first time we uh we played it i was in all this like dark urge makeup as well the first time we saw the epilogue oh she had to look just really heavy eye eye makeup mm. you should have a post your favorite unpopular opinion stream someday <laughs> oh god <laughs> it might be a very short stream uh, Gail has been in his tower for a year, and he's an extrovert. He's doing remarkably well, all things considered. Oh, yeah, I mean, it could be worse, yeah. TikTok for Gail. Oh, is TikTok like that with Gail? Hey, uh... Not too familiar with the TikTok community. Mm. 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 We should be having a fever by now. Green skin, even. Exactly. Uh Orifices remain blissfully unblooded. Our heads remain Is Gale really popular on TikTok? Normal. I know Starring is. Any I didn't know about Gale. Agree. This is abnormal. <laughs> does thinking of the last person on the face of the earth make you crazy? Because if it does, then maybe I am. <laughs> You're right, Kara. If you've ever seen the epic rack battles of history, <gasps> yes, Raphael versus Cazador, or just even like Cazador versus Astarian would be fantastic. Who can who can roast each other? Who can roast the other the most? Though to be fair, Kazador roasts Astarian pretty hard during the fight scene between them, where he's like, "Who's in like two centuries suffering you and Earth?" <laughs> it's like you can't. It's horrible, but you can't help but to laugh because it's just such a hard burn. Uh, kind of hard being in a relationship with Gale. If you have an argument, he might literally explode. At least for a while. <laughs> A star in his puppy eyes. I know. I hate it when he does that. Like, you'll help me, won't you? You'll do it for me, won't you? And it's like, you know exactly what you're doing, mister. And I don't like it, but okay. <laughs> but no, I could see people ascending a star in because he gives you those bloody puppy dog eyes. And he's like, you want me, you want to help me, don't you? You want to make me happy, don't you? I can, I can totally see people falling for it the first playthrough. Because he's he's very good at it. <laughs> and right, this game, it makes you laugh, it makes you cry. It's got it all. A starring Kyle like Day Malin. We love Day Malin. You see at least four Gale first traps a day. But what does a Gale first trap on TikTok entail? I'm so curious. <laughs> I have TikTok, but it's even my recommended videos are incredibly regional so i don't get much bg stuff recommended to me it's all like would you like to see videos in korea and i'm like i'd like bg videos please and it's like okay here are local videos <laughs> but yeah hopefully the video i'm coming out with will help um you um because a lot of those tips that are in that video are tips that I didn't know my first playthrough that I wish I knew my first playthrough. <laughs> and would have made my first playthrough much less stressful. Mm. What makes you the expert, Study. Gale? He's really scowling at him this playthrough. I think Astarian's trying to tell us he undocumented. doesn't want to romance Gale. Uncharted territory. The He's not feeling the blood weave. Before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. He's just scowling at him at every time. And I feel like he wasn't doing that before. Like, last playthrough. 
Your first playthrough, you fell for his puppy eyes. Oh no. And then was it just like instant regret? <laughs> It's probably the initial partial convo with Gail and then the highlights of him with a bare chest. I mean, that'd do it. <laughs> Your feet is just literally BG. Um, the way TikTok works here is it's just incredibly regional. It's hard to get out of the regional bubble, too. It really sucks as a creator as well if you're making English-speaking content because it just doesn't get out there. You have to work twice as hard to push it through. So, yeah, if you're in a country like America or England, though, it'll be fine. Australia, probably even. But yeah, if you're if you're here and you're making English content, good luck. <laughs> oh, you were sad and reloaded. I don't blame you. <laughs> it takes so much effort for you not to romance a starian. You haven't been... Funnily enough, chat, we're just talking about that right now because somebody... Um, it was between Gale and Astarian, and they're like, I'm gonna go romance Gale this time, but Astarian was uh, battering his eyelids at them. Like, come over here, darling. <laughs> I couldn't help but over here. Well, all right, I could have helped, but didn't. I mean, one anyway, of the reasons why I we're playing Astarian is so we can look at the other romances. <laughs> mental exchange, it's almost as if Can't romance infected. himself, though we might have made the himself the dream the lover. We might have done weapon. that. So technically, he can romance himself meant? now. <laughs> Technically, he can. Um, we'll approach that bridge when we get to it. Right. Mm, maybe it's a compliment. Huh. Adorable. But your timing is awful. Whatever the Mind Flayers planned were, those dragons spoiled them. That doesn't make oh, our situation. Oh, you have that mod, dangerous. so you can have you can you can have Either your cake way, and eat we it. We can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. Oh, it was we have to find a healer. <laughs> Well, right, you, oh, you wanted to see mm, Gail and his weave. <laughs> you also play goody-goody characters. You like the permanent strength increase of the potion. Uh, this run we might, because we're playing as him and it's an honor run, but outside of this particular situation, I can't, I can't make him do that. Because I'm just like, I have to protect him. <laughs> I mean, he can also handle himself, but that particular moment, if you don't stick up for him, he'll do it. Because he thinks he has to. Oh, you don't, you, you're not, you're not a fan of it, Kara. Um, okay. Well, that's where all the, okay. Uh, I need to decide what we're going to do. We'll do it in the morning. Decide what we're dressing everybody as. Start getting their outfits ready. Or maybe, maybe we'll do it after this. Oh, do we do the harpies? I think we should. I think we can. I think, I think we're fine. Oh, who wants to talk? Oh, it's Wivers. <laughs> oh I forgot about Wivers. Okay, first quiet. we're going to respec Shadowheart. Mm. We meet again. As predicted. You need it because you have issues. <laughs> I shall be here in my it's, it's just the way you just so For nonchalantly said it that tickled me. <laughs> Like, I need it. <laughs> I have a problem, okay? Um, if Larian made the characters, Polly, it'd be fine. Um, I, I also understand that, too. You know, I, 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 get, I get where you're coming from. I don't have, you know, I don't hold anything against anyone who does get that mod, though, you know. They just want to explore all the options at the same time, that's all. I, I get it. Um, Halston's there, as well. <laughs> yeah, Halston is, um... Is uh, the the vanilla Polly? Yeah. Uh, not to be rude, but uh, what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. <laughs> I love how sassy Rupert is. <sighs> Skeletons aren't supposed to be able Correct. to talk. I mean, technically, he's not a skeleton, though. He's got like he's technically like a ghoul. He's got, you know, flesh. You want them to ah, uh, you want them to be though, so it's frustrating. <laughs> Are you going to explain further? No. Of course. So, what kind of services can you offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy anything goes in the multiverse, 
I will cleave Three. soul to body once more. Hmm. You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter. It's really cheap. Of coin. So, uh, Shadow, uh, at Wivers, uh, you'll find him very early in the game. Um, and if you don't, he comes to your camp. Um, you can respec your characters with him for only 200 gold. Uh, sorry, 100 gold you can respec. And for 200 gold, you can make your own... Kind of like make your own companion. Um, you might have to utilize that if you're just playing a certain Dark Urge. Um, a bit more often. Um, so you can kind of make your own setup with um, that as well. Uh, they're kind of like hirelings. Oh, not, not, uh, uh Shadow Heart needs to. We need to get. Also, I recommend. Shadow Heart is a trickery cleric by default. Respect that ASCP. <laughs> Make her like. If you want her to be a healer, life is a great way to go. I shall be here. Really strong support. For whenever if you're not having like a bard or anything like services. that in your group, it is jur. Well, yes, Wivers is is Jurgal. I believe it's confirmed now. Yeah. Everyone was suspicious before, but it was a little bit more confirmed later on with the epilogue and whatnot. Uh, da, da, da. He uses the gold from the party to buy vitamin D supplies. It's really cheap, yeah. And you can also steal the gold back from Wivers and he doesn't care. <laughs> so, you can get your money back. As thou desire. Um, I was thinking of making Karlak a paladin monk, uh, a paladin uh, fighter this time. We were going to have a monk, though, a bit later on. Right, so we're going to make our life... Oh, wait, life or li life? Okay, we're gonna go life. Um... Yeah, we're gonna go these, I think. Make sure we get the heels. Oh, light, light is like fairy fire. I also like uh, Tempest is good. War is nice as well. These two are pretty fun. I need to look up what I had for her. I had everyone's setups written down. Uh, I wrote them last night. Okay. I'm gonna go... 17 constitution. We're gonna just. I might. Um, I think I'm gonna make it 16 this time, actually. We're gonna go. 16. I'm gonna go dexterity 12. She doesn't really need charisma. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it somewhere around there. Mm. Do I want to give her more strength for a day? Not sure where I want to put the other points. We've done all the important stuff. Yeah, monks are stupid, and if you if monks are stupid strong, and if you mix monk and rogue, it's amazing. So many extra attacks. I feel like life is the best for honor run too. Yeah, war domain's a lot of fun though. Yeah, the temple he came from is the temple of Jurgo. He also has all these connections. Um, he talks about life and death a lot. What you can, the, the the certain thing he does during dirge storyline as well without. Spoilers. <laughs> also suggests Jurgle. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure where I want to put these up. If I'm going to put them in strength. I mean, strength, when we hit stuff, it'll... <coughs> or do we want to go, like, put a little bit more in dexterity, I wonder. 
You just like it, having it balanced. Mm. I want. I definitely want a constitution high. We're not changing the wisdom in the constitution, but I am considering. She's not really going to be hitting. F yeah. So I was thinking about adding more decks. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go. Yes. She's mostly going to be healing. So we're going to go Dex, Constitution, Wisdom. Um, we're going to eventually swap out her for Gale and make Gale the Cleric of Mistra. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun. Um, probably after the Harpies. <laughs> we're going to do that. That's the plan. I might make Lazella Monk. And then we might switch to Minfar and Halson later. That's me plan. Can you, I, I, I'm surprised. Oh, can you cast Otto's Dance on Withers? That's a good question. I never tried. You like con head? Yeah, yeah, I feel like, um, especially with it being, <clears throat> um, on a mode and the harpies, thinking about that. She's not really, yeah, she's mostly going to be doing spells, so. That's why I feel we wanted to go more into decks. Constitution, wisdom. Yeah, yeah, resi yeah resilience. I think resilience on my list further down. Yeah, yeah, resilient and warcaster. I was going to go for. Might find something useful. Onward. Ever onward. Gale definitely has to be in the bubble. Because he's gonna... Oh, I really hate his stats. Ugh, but I don't want to... I don't want to change him yet because we're going to be changing him anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter because I can steal the money back from Withers anyway. So we're going to we're going to change him. Up for debate. <gasps> hey, how you doing, Mose? Hope you're well. Uh, oh, it's gone by fast today. Uh, I shall be here in my cap. As... We could make him into something more useful. <laughs> but honestly, magic missile is going to be good against the harpies. So maybe it's good to keep it for then. You know, I hate Mage Hand. <laughs> Do you remember when we uh, we were experimenting with Mage Hand to see if we could pick up the Noble Stalk with it, and it just ended up setting off all the traps, all the bibber bangs, <laughs> and it couldn't chuck it to a star in either. It just couldn't do any anything we wanted it to do. It wouldn't do. Like it couldn't throw it to him so he could pick it up. It just ended up being really useless. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with that, I think. The fog cloud might be useful against them. Just so he has more health. We have some scrolls for that, so maybe... Oh! No, that might be more helpful than that. Okay, for this fight <clears throat> that I'm thinking about. <laughs> Wisdom saving throws I'm thinking about. I didn't like how that was 14. Uh, 13. When it's an odd number, it annoys me, so I usually just keep it even until we get to a point where, you know, we get that extra point added on and then I respec it. It's just visually, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that. You just hate them being odd numbers because you don't get anything from it. Unless, you know, something else is adding to it. Thus, when you look at the stats overall, it's even. <laughs> Thank you, Moj. Yeah, we're bringing a starring back for the uh, auto run. <laughs> Thank you. I think the hair's a bit... I don't know. The hair I was fighting with a bit this morning. 
but I appreciate it. <laughs> I think he's a bit pale. I, I did. I am using a different um um what do you call it foundation today. <laughs> it's a bit lighter. <laughs> that could be it. Maybe 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 it helps. Um, I did a bit more contouring too than usual. <laughs> Uh, every time someone mentions Mage Hand, I just remember Neil doing his playthrough and telling his partner, you know what you can do with your- oh no. <laughs> I mean, someone probably made a fan fiction out there about that. That's just- this is exactly the kind of thing someone would do. Now we're- Mage Hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need even numbers as well. Oh my. <laughs> you can tie your shoes with mage hand, obviously. Right? Obviously. Uh, long stride is useful. Now, now, now. Doesn't he already have that? Oh no. Oh no, he doesn't. Um, yeah, I like, I like long strider. <laughs> he used it to get behind the goblins and push them off roofs or high platforms. It feels pretty good when it works. Yeah, I just feel like the problem is it's good when it works, but it seems to fail a lot. I noticed. I think that's why I don't like it. <laughs> Misty step. <laughs> Agreed on the odd numbers. You're actually in D and D. Having at least thirteen in main strike is required for multi-classing, so that might be why they set it up this way. It, it's possible because obviously there are parts of the game where we're going to, you know, pick up extra points. However. We don't have them now, so it's just a waste of a point at the moment, you know? I'm, I'm, I bet it's out there already. I, I'd be surprised if it's not, Rixie. I'm just, I'm just saying. That sounds like something, especially if, if Neil said it. <laughs> it probably already exists. <laughs> oh my, oh no. Hmm. But um, when Shadowheart goes to the Shaw Root in game, you give her a vengeance paladin levels because it fits her religious fever. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's quite nice, that. Uh, how's Lazelle? Oh, she's got. Yeah, she's also got odd numbers. Let's fix that. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna do something cheeky. I'm gonna not do all Lazelle's level ups right now so we can get some more potions. Thy name, I shall be here in thy camp. Oh, I almost As attacked him. <laughs> Can you, what happens if you attack Rivers? Is that... Does he just... Does he do anything? Does that, does that have any impact on the game? <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. She doesn't need the intel. And I'm not even sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'll tell you what though, I'm not testing it on an honor run. <laughs> I'm not testing it on an honor run. Um, to draw me, uh, if you want, as long as it, yeah, yeah, as long as it's, yeah. I, I don't see any problem with that, if you want to. <laughs> uh, Arcane Trickster is the best mage hand because it's permanent and invisible. Oh, so we're saying that's, that's the, that's its use. <laughs> right. He has some funny comments, though. Why does... Rufus puts up with a lot from us, doesn't he? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, struck. And then that's about it. So he patronises us, is what we're saying. Okay, we're gonna go to Auntie Ethel. Then we'll go to the Harpies! Think it's gonna be fine. Got, like, a solid strat, so... He's in his disappointed grandma phase. Oh, someone should draw withers in like a grandma, you know, like robe. <laughs> like pink and fluffy. <laughs> he looked fabulous. Someone did that with a star and, and it was fantastic. When Dame Malin's in camp, she would knock us into next Tuesday. I'm sure. Oh, I need to see if he has another hand crossbow. I might have one by now. Looking for steel. I have. Well. Oh, I keep almost close. attacking him. <laughs> ah! Why don't you have the other crossbow? What is the? Oh, there you go. Okay. 
<laughs> I was ready to yell at him. Right. And sell some stuff too. All the things I have stolen. Just starring with carrying things. Uh, no, he doesn't have any potions. Oh, no worries. See you later. Have a good weekend. Um, and a good Easter, yeah? Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. <gasps> she dumped you because the scene didn't play. Oh, no. Yeah, I think if you miss the romance scene in Act 2, they all dump you. A Starian's is really harsh. Hello. He basically tells Please you you're a mean to an end, a means to an end oceans. that's no longer worth the cost. If you neglect him. <laughs> and it feels like he he goes backwards in some of his healing as well, honestly. Like he closes up again. It's kind of sad, honestly. Okay, nothing for now. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna level up Lazel. He tried to find Scratch's ball. Scratch moved into it and got hit. Alien went berserk. <gasps> no! Because, yeah, most people will side with uh, Scratch, won't they? No streamer had to use sneak and banishment on her to get her out of the combat loop. Oh, Alien. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's wild. But, yeah, Alien is not someone you want to fight. <laughs> You do not want to fight Aelin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Action, not reaction. We're gonna do the rest of them now because we're out of money. <laughs> um, I told her I wanted it when she got her art fix, and then, you know. Hasn't that happened in Neil and Tom's playthrough as well, where, like, Carlac's romance scene just isn't triggering for Tom? I'm wondering, is, is, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, like, is there an actual bug there? <laughs> Did you do a couple of rests before you went to Moonrise, just to check? Because I know they've been having the same problem. Like, Gale, Gale scenes keep popping up and he, he keeps blocking it. Precision pushing disarming. Yeah, several. Is it bugged? I'm genuinely wondering if it's bugged now. That's a good start on the potions there. Hello, Do a few long rests we before attempting to fix her. Before you fix her? Or is it bugging out? It also happened to one of your... Okay, so it feels like there's a problem hey, there, brother. doesn't it? Mm. It seems like something's not working properly. Sweet. Okay, we got a bunch of potions now. <laughs> we need a lot for Act 2, so um, another reason why we're stocking up early is because Act 2, they're not as readily available. So we want to make sure we have plenty so we can get through Act 2. Act 3, they'll be more available again. Before, so you need to do rest before getting to Damon in Act 2. Okay. Huh? Oh, there he is. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Gail was really pushy in your game. He wouldn't take hints. Um, he did have a bug where he was a little overexcited for a while. Yeah, it was a lot more. He was leaping on people basically when he wasn't supposed to. But I have also had that issue in a multiplayer run where um, I told him I wasn't interested during the weave scene, and he still tried to romance me in Act Two despite a, a, her the character establishing with Vistarian the night before. It's like so we had this, you know, kind of. Um, 
funny um, canon that Gail was in the bushes somewhere watching and like, okay, this is my chance now. If it's, it's now or never, <laughs> you know, it's now or never. <laughs> you just wish you could get to the brain scene now. What level are you at the moment? A few things will trigger first. You got a long rest, a partial rest a few times, then go to Damon. Okay, if you don't want it to bug out with Karlak. So, are we saying then that potentially Tom's never going to get with Karlak? Is it just completely broken then on their play for a wonder? Like it has with has done with Kara. It's good to yeah, it's good to long rest multiple times too before getting tact free, just to make sure you've not missed anything as well. Yeah. <laughs> you heard the woman. Now. Shadow Heart's only disapproving because it's Lazel. Otherwise, she'd be all for this. Lower. Mm, she's serious. You better get on your knees and fast. Now Lazel's gonna jump on it. You saw another gift. Where? <laughs> on the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. Hmm. Saw us for we saw it. We will be going to the crash. I'm a little bit worried about the crash. The, the crash side. is no twisting. Kin must have been her hurry. rough. So that's kind of one the of the non-boss fight scenarios that I'm slightly worried about. Up. It's probably better taking Lazel to meet them innards. so there's less chances of fighting, I think. On my test run, I didn't take Lazel there. We had to fight them before the crash. And it was a bit spicy. The locals prove compliant. <laughs> Lazel has that way of turning it turning tell. you around, yeah. She's you great. Want to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. <laughs> Sorrow was an easy mark. Don't get complex. A thin shell requires little to crack it. I will apply more pressure should the situation demand. <laughs> I feel like Starin would like to see clear. that. Usually if he's a bit disappointed that she didn't here, tear him to shreds. Purification cannot wait. He just, you know, he enjoys fun. <laughs> Did you just say tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. It's Faerun, darling. <laughs> Got a teaser. Um, the monks in Act 3. Uh, that'll be fine. I didn't have any trouble with that on my test run. I think it'll be fine. Mm. The crash holds the Zathisk. It, it was just the, some of the, just the gifts in the early no game for some reason that gave me a bit of hassle. We didn't have any close calls, but it was just a bit dicey yeah, at times. To where it was like, Tarlac, if you miss a n one more hit, we might be in trouble. <laughs> she missed like three hits in a row. It was bad. So I was starting to get a bit concerned. Take your time. Um. Did that curl just give me the side eye? Right, what have we got? Okay, Lazel has those scrolls. We should definitely give one to a star, I think. <clears throat> Maybe, G and, oh, Gail can cast it on himself. Okay. Shadowheart would need someone else to cast it on her. No, Shadowheart's, okay, Shadowheart's gonna be doing the dome. I don't have any of those calm potions. Uh... I don't think Auntie Ethel was selling them. All right. Oh uh, yeah, open hand monk is great. Need anything else? Of course. But please remember, you're not the only one in need. Fire. Mm -hmm. it, this might be fine. <laughs> Let's go see if we had anything in the um. Treasure chest. I'm a little bit nervous about the harpies, but it, it's, it's going to be fine as long as we don't 
completely, you know, the saving throws don't go completely wrong and... Oh, shh! I didn't mean to drink that. God damn it. <laughs> I just wanted to put it in my pack. Ah! Right, okay, well, you drank that then. <laughs> ah! I thought you were just going to pick it up. He said he was like, nope, that's mine now. It's fine, it was just one. Um, well, if you're open hand and you're doing the strength one, um, you can do a strength potions the whole way through, and then you can just focus on, you know, spreading out your... You can, you can put your points elsewhere, basically. So that's what I did. I had the strength dependent on the potions. Or uh, there's a bull strength uh, outfit that gives 20 strength. That can get you up to 20 strength, sorry, uh, as well. So you, you have a couple of options with that monk. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing silence. And then if silence concentration fails, then we're going to do calm motions. That's the plan. It's already the plan. It's actually one of the tactics I used in the second video. I've been doing like two videos at once. One of the videos is a walkthrough of all the early game fights. And I showed a few different ways you can fight the harpies. It's just, we're only in trouble if she fails a concentration throw very early twice. Dance upon the stars tonight. We'll see if we can get him, um... The music and pain will fade proficiency. Away. Words of then he can play the loop for everybody change. during breaks. No. Become. Mm. <laughs> right, he'd be. Oh, his bard roasts would be. They would hit hard. Like. The enemy would just collapse. They'd be so hard. <laughs> uh, how can I put this? It sounds a little um, unpolished. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! So what I'm worried about now, meaning, is just that situation where she fails. She, her concentration breaks too quick, too early. Yeah, that's the situation I'm worried about. No, should be fine though. In theory. Grisly death. She's got... Bloody song. I think it'll be I okay. Nothing fits, I'm telling myself it's going to be okay. Astarian is a bard for you. Bard Starian is the only Astarian. <laughs> He's got the personality for it. All right, let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. All right. I'll start from the I think beginning. this is the only way we can do it. We'll take it slow. <laughs> Getting to, to uh, perform with her. Smile and pain will fade away. We're, we're going to try it at free, and I'm hoping it's going to be fine. I'm not entirely sure when they st like how long you can leave it until they eat the kid either. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure about that. Use Gale. <laughs> Gale, honestly. You had one job. I think if we pass the second one, it's fine. Anyway, I'm not going to waste inspiration on this. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> the the Grinch starring came again. out a little bit there. I, th I think she hurt his feelings a bit. He was trying, bless him. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love of Pay. He's still Rest scowling. Alright. <laughs> we're, 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 we're just gonna go for it, I think. It's day, it's day one. We can take a risk. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Needs some work. <laughs> and then some. But I have the bones of the song. And that's what matters. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. 
My teacher. She was mm. playing her lute. We... Yeah, yeah, that's the harpies all get a turn before you and kill so the kid right away. Blood. We're gonna try and put the kid in the bubble with us. Um, there's two ways about this. If we, okay. If I put the, okay. If I put the bubble over the kid before the dialogue happens, then what's gonna happen is the kid's gonna try and fight the harpies. <sighs> Instead of disengaging. And we're gonna have to toss him. So what we're gonna do is initiate the dialogue, then put up the barrier, then, um, yeah, because otherwise the kid tries to attack the harpies for some reason. He gets really cocky about it. I don't know why. It might be a bug. Um, but yeah, when I was doing the video, every time I put the silence bubble over him before dialogue, he would punch them. <laughs> just go up and, you know, just punch him. Mm. Well, you come up with a fine tribute Lihala to her. said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I think Gone it's related to you nuking the dialogue. Itch to because it only happened whenever I Keep did that. Please. As long as I went through the you dialogue, it. it was fine. The weeping dawn will be yeah, the bubble. To Lihala. Of a long way to go. Yeah, he attacked the harpies, and I think you. it's because I I didn't I, do the dialogue. I put I the did this. I put the bubble over him straight away, so it probably messed something up. And then, for a while, uh, early when the game came out, the kid wouldn't disengage properly. So you, I had to toss him. Because he'd just walk past them, and then they'd do, a, you know, an opportunity attack and they'd kill him. So I, I just, I threw him. Threw him to safety. So when he got to Act 2, he had like one health left. Because <laughs> I tossed him. <laughs> Worth it though, because he survived. So, tossing him also, valid strategy, just chuck him. Uh, welcome, thank you for the follow, I hope you're having a good one today. He does act like it was no big deal to go face them, so he probably is quite confident. <laughs> I wish you could have been an actual companion, right? The, the, the dirge run gets you all excited that there's a possibility for it and maybe you missed the first run. Yeah, well, you'll see, ain't till you'll see what we're about to do right now, which is pretty much very similar strategy. It's beautiful. He should disengage properly now. He, he's since been fixed, but um, if you put the bubble over him first, he might try to attack them because that's a different situation. Something over there. We want Aelin to be a companion. We love Aelin. Right. I'm carrying a chest around. <laughs> <clears throat> this also helps. Oh, Gale already has that, but... Oh, maybe it's better. If he uses this, then he's not gonna waste his... Lizzo. Does it require concentration, that? It does. Okay, so Shadow Heart can't. I don't know if that's gonna help her froze or not. I'm not sure. Find me. We need magic missile. Okay, we can get rid of that now because he, he used a uh, thingy. Okay. It might be good to have him be able to misty step out of there, though. Mm. Okay, we'll do that. Not that he usually stays around alive long enough to do that, but...
doing, Ari? Uh, pretty, pretty good so far. I don't want to jinx it, though, because we're just about to do the harpies. But yeah, right now I can't recommend casting Silence Bubble on the kid before the dialogue. Just just purely because I, every time I tried it, he was punching the harpies. Yeah, he seems to... There's, there's a greater chance of him dying that route. Ah, that's the part that was random. Yeah, it seems to bug something out. Yeah. He did different things, different... Yeah, sometimes he'll disengage and then he'll go back to punch them. It's it's wild, honestly. Hey, how you doing, Danny? Hope you're having a good one today. Welcome. Okay. And, uh... So she's gonna be doing the bubble. Um... Let's get that out. Okay. We need that. We need that. We need silence. Um, <laughs> eh, if the kid dies, the kid dies. <laughs> That's how I feel this run. I'm like, eh. <laughs> saved him all my overruns, you know. Eh. What's kept, what's more important is we survive this. So, mm. oh, I gotta go to her pair. Arabella's parents get the thing Ready and willing. from Ar Arabella's, um, as well. Yeah, so to give to Gale, because Gale's going to be hungry soon. We'll probably give a star in some poison. Okay, so we're going to kind of position everybody now. Um, I think they have one of those here, one of his burger joints here. I've never been, though. Just aware that it exists. You're in Vegas this week. What are you doing in Vegas? Just like old times. I think I'm going to give him the invisibility potion. Yeah, you have the same mindset about um, honor mode. It's like, I can't care about everyone this time. Yeah, we gotta um, protect the group. Who's gonna be good at. Oh, maybe. Oh, but if Shadowheart get, Let's not have Shadowheart talk to him. <laughs> just, just in case, you know, just in case. So the bubble's gonna go on everyone else here. Starring has like a good. It's 50-50. Starion might be fine. He might get charmed. If he doesn't get charmed, though, we can do a sneak attack. So that's why he's up there. Um, so it's very 50-50, this. 90% um, of the time when I do it this way, he does not get charmed. <laughs> We could, but spell slots, you know. Um, I don't think I want to waste a spell slot on the kid. <laughs> when we could be using calm emotions or something, you know, if we really get into trouble. <laughs> See you later, Basil. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. So, yeah, that's my thinking. Hmm. Sanctuary on us. I do like... Wait, does command even work on them? Probably doesn't, does it? I can't check. Does that work on the harpies? Because if it works on the harpies, then great, fantastic, wonderful, fine. I can't remember if it does. I never really needed to. So, you're playing Origin of Starring as your honor mode. You're going to keep getting options that fit well for. Me. Yeah, so we're kind of like. We're trying to sort of still keep it lore uh, friendly while also Please. beneficial for us. So, this is the power hungry Astarian run. We did the nice spawn ending Astarian run last time. This is the, the, the power hungry one. Is it wise? Is it wise to be snarky and get myself killed? Right? There's also that. Because <laughs> the Starian definitely is snarky enough to get himself killed. Okay, just double checking. We've got all that. Good. We've got silence. We've got calm. I think we're. F I'm really nervous. I don't know why am I so nervous about this. It's gonna be fine. It, it's gonna be fine. I'm like telling the party this now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> you might be fine. It's like 50 50 if you're gonna be fine, you know? Oh, Gail can 
Mm. Gale can. That's not going to break his concentration, is it? No. Good, 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 good. Okay. I we don't really have many potions to utilize. I might do some poison. Uh, we're going to do invisibility, then talk to them. <sighs> all right, all right. Are we ready? Because i got to click it fast when we do this. Um, okay, 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 okay. First. Oh, wait. Yeah, on your... Yeah, those. Okay, uh-huh. Right, let's go. Okay, Lazel, you talk to the kid. Here we go. It's okay, it's day one, so if we, if we mess it up, we don't have to do too much to get back to this point. <laughs> yes. Don't you hear it? It's I hear so nothing. Peaceful. <laughs> do, do not anger Black if on your honor run. I oh so bad. <laughs> Kara, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Come back to no, shore. No, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Hi, Bald. How you doing? Hope you're well. Just Welcome. Okay, we got this. We got this. It's gonna be fine. Unless Shadowheart gets charmed immediately, then then maybe not. Fine. Oh dear. There's a good chance that could happen, honestly. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. All right, off you go. Did Shadowheart get charmed? Okay, it's not. It's Gale. It's fine. Oh no! He got caught. How did he get caught? He was invisible. Did I not drink the potion properly? Maybe I didn't drink... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it's already a little bit of a disaster, but we're fine. We're fine. We are fine. Wait, where's Gale? Gale! <laughs> it's like... Gale's already there. God's sake, Gale. Honestly, he had one job. <laughs> She's... Blah. They're really... Uh... Finally, okay. Good, good, good. They might kill Gale. <laughs> and again, it'll be Gale's fault because uh, he uh, he made poor choices. Now I expect. Okay, now they're coming down here. Oh, I should have had a weapon on. Wrong one. Why did she have her bow out? Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so some things have already gone wrong, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna misty step Gale into here and away from danger. This is a big dum dum. Is he still gonna be in there? If he whacks it. I think he's still in the bubble. Oh! Okay, oh, okay. Right, well, it, that broke it. Why can't she... Oh, right, because she's silenced. She can do this one. Starring, you're gonna heal yourself. Who's doing that? Wow, they're really... Those concentration saving throws, they're really, uh... That's unfortunate. They're really... Really, really, really... Passing them. Oh my god! I don't think I've had them pass it so much in a row before. This is bad. It's like that time when, um... Well, you can't do it if you're dead! <laughs> Right. <sighs> Finally. Okay, so first we need to heal Gale. Because he's a big dum dum. Just get her out of the bubble momentarily. Okay, she's gonna. Apparently, she's gonna stay out the bubble. <laughs> she doesn't want to go back in now. Yeah, 
I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Okay, we can probably do magic missile here. Usually he's not like this. Usually he just watch Oh god, everybody is. Usually he does so much better. I'm really surprised. He, he usually does so much better than this. I'm almost disappointed at him. <laughs> it would be this run on stream where this all goes wrong, wouldn't it? Where we get just like this really weird situation where they're just the concentration saving throws are just not happening. If Lazel dies, we're in trouble. Oh, for goodness sake. This is not good. I think I've not been lenient enough on the potions. Wow. This is the worst run I've ever had. <laughs> Finally. Had to be on it was on the round where like none of them were getting um charm though. Mm. Ideally we want to get a star in, in the bubble, don't we? I don't know if he'll technically be in it. Yes, okay, right, well, he's safe now. Wait, I think I think we can salvage this. I think it's fine. This one can't do anything because it's in the bubble. So it can't sing. And if it moves, it's gonna get whacked. Um no, let's finish it off. Uh or Okay, let's try this. Oh no, Lazel. Uh no, finish it off. Or, you know, don't. Just miss it. Yeah, that, that's, that also can do that, too. <laughs> Gail's default... It almost was his default state dead there. Torment. That is insane, the amount of time, sir. Wow. They're really doing well on those concentration saving throws today. My goodness. That is bad. Oh, no, he did. He did. He did break it. Apparently. Must have been the last hit. Strike. Okay. Gonna keep everyone in the bubble. Got to focus. Okay, me. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh no, she's still silenced. Hi, welcome. How you doing, Etienne? Hope you're well. How was your stream? Not enough movement. I hope you had a good one today. Oh, no, she can't. I don't think she can. Can she? She can do that. Okay, made a mistake there getting her out of there. Hey, Lan, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome. What were you playing today? Awesome Baldur's Gate as well. How's your playthrough going? Okay, she didn't do the luring song. She decided not to. So we're pretty good. We got him. Kind of got them. I think a star and I'll finish them off. Done. Right, there we go. Harpy's done. Woo! Right. Are they gone? Mm, 
they're gone. Are you all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm. Go back to your parents. There's worse in the wild than harpies. Just showing his teeth. Gone. <laughs> now there's just more. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I oh, to go. gold from the nest. Wait, um, you it's mine now. So be grateful. Welcome. You Thank you for the follow. Find a boy called Donny. The dragon's lair. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Mm. So that was a good example of doing the bubble fight where sometimes a lot goes wrong <laughs> sometimes you get really unlucky and they they do a lot of those saving throws like even with magic missile but we, we we're okay in the end the bubble um the bubble pulled through i think Uh, we're going to bring Lazel down here because I don't think he can jump to where I need him to go. I don't think have any loot on them either. You can use calm emotions. However, it's, you know, it's going to be similar situation. I have both on just in case. You can, you can use both. So what I do is I use silence and then if silence fails, like, you know, we, she gets hit, her concentration goes, then we've got calm emotions as a backup. Um, in fear, I don't understand why, I don't know why it wouldn't work on the kid. I don't know if it would turn the kid hostile though. I don't know if, if that would affect that because I've never tried it on the kid before. Let's see what this Uh, yeah, but they're both valid strategies, Kara. You can use calm emotions, or you can use silence, or you can have both as a backup. Um, they're both perfectly fine. My faith will to, uh, to you. They both require concentration. So... Careful, I buy it. There's a chance that if she gets hit, she's gonna lose it, right? And with the silence bubble, all you have to do is just dip their toes out, do your attack, and then dip back in. It's not really an inconvenience. I'm going to talk to Galen after I get some useless item for him because I know what he wants to talk about. But they're, they're both completely valid strategies. I recommend having both on just in case for the worst case scenario in honor mode where your concentration breaks and, um, you know, you need something. You might have a, if you have a spell slot potion by then too, take it. Me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, that would defeat the I'm purpose fine. of saving her. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I like having both in case for worst case scenario. In, in on Thank a run, you. you want to plan for a worst Don't case scenario, that right? That way, if it happens, you're not frantically panicking, <laughs> which can happen. Oh, I can. I, 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 I like checking whenever I can trade with someone. Just he's got a carrot on him. Okay. Hmm. It could have ended badly. We should keep her in line from now on. The nine hells will sooner freeze over. Would Gale ideally but prefer we'll to be tied up to a mast, Odysseus style, so he could hear the harpy music at least? <laughs> I was fine. Your mother was a harpy. He gets charmed and then just starts yelling at you to tie him up. That would be funny. Mm. So Gale's the one who's the most susceptible to it because he's human. Um, Astarian ha usually does better than that. He's an elf, so he has a little bit of power against being charmed. Uh, I think Shadowheart does because she's half, too. Gale's your problem. <laughs> Gale's the one who, like, really needs some extra support there. Because he's human. Okay, Gale, I have your noms. What's on your mind? You're finding Gale. Gale, now don't panic. <laughs> Ah, right. You, well, we were, you usually do that fight at level four. I did it at like, yeah, I, I've been able to do it at level three, no problem on all the difficulties. So I just, I just do it at level three with the bubble and the 
or karma motion strategy, it's pretty solid, so. I mean, you, you saw that fight. It got pretty messy. Like, a couple of things went wrong, but we still pulled through. As long as you're, you know, just make sure your characters are healed if they take damage. You know, give them a potion. Chuck a potion at them. Make sure the healer does something. Um, you want to make sure that concentration stays on as much as possible. Aim for the harpy that's singing, even if you're in a bubble. Um, magic missile's great. Starring with the to hand crossbows is great because he's going to get a few extra shots. I like bringing the fire arrows because I get like a little extra chance to break the concentration there as well. Yeah, humans get the short end of the stick for BG. In D&D, they do... Oh, they get an extra feat in D&D. I didn't know that. Your worst case scenario planning is to be a high level. I mean, it will be a bit easier at level four. Yeah. I do consider it a fun challenge, right? I've done, um, I've done the Harpies so with two characters before as well, just two, two of us. I've done it without the Silence Bubble and without Karma Motions because we had a Rogue and Monk or a Rogue and a Fighter. Um, so, on the, you know, Tactician difficulty, so you can... That, that's very more like a dice roll. Um, look chance though when you don't have silence or the bubble <laughs> because if they both get charmed you're in trouble or you don't have a potion or anything to you know mitigate it <laughs> how much challenge do you really need in auto mode i mean you know some people some people like an extra challenge i'm just you know just giving an example of how you know you can do it to two man no silence bubble no calm emotions <laughs> See if looks on your side. Hmm. Hmm. I have a magical artifact. Your enterprising need. approach to my problem is most encouraging, but it is a delicate process to keep. My oh, he had the stable. mark above his head, so I thought. Oh, he probably wanted to tell us about uh, when he was a kid and the cat. By. Maybe it was that. It will not be too much. It's probably that. Hmm. Why make that protocol of yours the so difficult? Were easy enough, weren't they? If slightly elaborate. Like I said, I'm dangerous even in death. I'm merely trying to protect those around me. I find that a healthy amount of theatrics, a voice from the beyond, a magic flute, a friendly... Mm, the early fight, the dice rolls can be really brutal, yeah, effort, especially with less tends to make for um, a more actions. Compelling case. If nothing else, I'm sure I How you doing though, curiosity. Big Cat? Sorry, I just saw your message now. Hope you're doing well. Hmm... Uh, why does that condition of yours require magic? Think of it as... It's very specific. Tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid mm. invasion. As long as I so. pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, <laughs> along comes a war. It's failing to mention the blowing you, himself up bar, isn't he? The battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. All right. Okay, well, we've got Gale's noms ready. Uh, no worries. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. <laughs> Have yourself a good one. Um, there will be more Star in Honor Run tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday for this one. The best challenge run has been no unique items, only enchant. Game is actually very hard without itemization. I mean, a lot of what makes you powerful is the items, yeah. Go sell some things. After playing some Gales Run, you're making D and D players live in a haunted house of a dozen ethereal tressums. Sounds quite scary, that. <laughs> oh, color spray! You can have that as well. Oh. Oh, that was... Okay, I read their gold as my goal. <laughs> Nothing for now. Okay. Gotta find a couple more things to sell, bring our gold back up, I think. But we, we're, we're off to a good start with strength potions, so we're not gonna fall behind there. Yeah, he always insists she's not a cat, but... 
it's a cat. <laughs> At least I think it's a cat. It's a cat with wings. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try and see if we can get him some base armor as well. I think. And then we'll head over to the Blighted Village uh, next stream. Um, I saved a lot of inspiration so we can hopefully get the ogres and the horn, which we're going to try and remember to use. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Are they heavily weighted towards nat ones? <laughs> That's funny, that. <laughs> Spend all that time getting it and then uh, keep getting that ones. Yeah, so I feel like they could be useful for us. So I've been saving the inspiration for that. No worries, sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the uh, raid. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a lovely night. Uh, right, I think so. We'll end episode one here for today uh, of the honor run. So far, so good. Yeah, it went it, a couple of things, you know. Unpredictable things have happened, but overall it's gone pretty well. Uh, Gale died, but I kind of expected that to happen at some point. Lazelle's gone. She's, I don't know why she's so far away. Um, but yeah, so, so far it's going pretty well. Uh, we've got a bunch of strength potions, which is going to be great. We need to really stock up on those for Act 2, because we're going to have a monk and a warrior. So they're both going to require strength potions, because one of them's going to be open hand. Um, we're gonna do it that way, so if we get enough, we'll be fine. So next stream, we're gonna go to... Just looking at my notes. <laughs> we're gonna go to the Blighted Village and get stuff done there. And take it from there, yeah. Let's probably respect Gale into a cleric soon, too. And bring him along and... Um, so next, the next run we're doing after this is Shadowheart. So Shadowheart, we're probably going to leave her at camp for this one. Basically, as soon as the everything's ready for the cosplay, we'll be starting Shadowheart's run. So I don't have a... It'll be sometime April. I don't have a full ETA for it. Um, but yeah, it'll be sometime next month. A bunch of stuff still stuck in customs waiting to go through. So <laughs> kind of depends on how quickly that... Uh, happens if anything gets lost or not. I've got everything from the head up, minus the chains right now. I have to sort the chain out for her hair. Um, but Shadowheart is going to be here during Dragon's Dogma streams on Wednesday. So you will see a different version of her on Wednesdays before the honor run. Yeah. Uh, not the most hectic run ever. Pretty. I think it was pretty successful so far. Yeah, it went, went quite... We started off with a nat 20. Which did worry me, because I thought that meant all the other rolls were going to be bad. He has been failing a lot of lockpick rolls, which is weird, because he's proficient. And he's been passing the things he's not good at, like strength. Gil only died once for real is a resounding success, and it was his fault, because he stood in the door. <laughs> like, what did he expect to happen? Yeah, stream tomorrow, so... Stream tomorrow will still be... I think it's better if we make it still 6pm ET. And then Wednesday, we'll go back to 5 p.m. ET. Uh, I apologize for those of you in Europe who it's going to be an hour later for, but I promise on Wednesday, it'll be back to the normal time. It's just it's harder for me to adjust my sleep schedule and everything um, with all the prep work I'm going to have to do for the cosplay tomorrow because I have to, like, redo the hair and everything, and it takes a couple of hours to get it right. Um and then get the ample amount of sleep <laughs> that is needed to wake up at 3 a.m. So tomorrow it'll be 6 p.m. ET. Wednesday we'll be back to 5 p.m. ET because the clocks have just gone back for Europe, if that sounds okay. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll compromise on that. I'll make a note in the Discord and Twitter as well, just and, and probably, you know, YouTube announcement so everybody knows um, as well. What's going on there? Hmm. But I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our honor run. I think it's going well so far. <laughs> and um, we'll probably be getting into some bosses next stream, I think. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the love and support today as well. Uh, thanks for the... Uh, 
the gifted subs. We also had... Uh, we also had Josie with the super chat and the gifted sub too. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're the best. Hey, Bash. <laughs> All right. Let's see where we're going to go raid today. Over on the Twitchy. Oh, my lovely friend, Tack, is on. Who did a wonderful Carlite cosplay the last time we went over. Maybe we should go see Tack. Tack is actually playing some ESO today. But Tack is amazing and wonderful. So let's go give her some love, yeah. Oh, cat treats! Wait, wait, cat treats first. Yes, thank you, Bob. I mentioned we were going to do it after talking to someone, and then we didn't, because I got distracted. So we're going to do cat treats before we go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Feel free to yell at me when I forget. Sometimes we just get so into the game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she was ready for those. Jenny, Jenny, chew, chew it. Don't, in no, don't inhale it. Chew it, chew it. <laughs> You're gonna throw up. Is that everything? New K, you coming up? I think that's everything. Gremlin time! New kid, come on! You tired? New kid, come on! <laughs> okay, he's gonna do it this way today. He stole kid. <laughs> he stole. He stole Killy's spot. Some? Oh my goodness. I know, he's a lazy butt. She's like, ow, ow, ow. You did, you tried to swallow it, didn't you? <laughs> she tried to swallow it and then immediately regretted that. You gotta chew it. <sighs> Honestly. I don't know how to give the Heimnik to a cat, so chew it, okay? <laughs> right, chew. Chewing with teeth. <laughs> it worries me sometimes. She just tries to inhale the damn thing. Oh! <laughs> you did it again, didn't you? Jenny. <laughs> Be careful. You gotta slow down. New cat. I can't reach you. Uh, uh, uh. Chew. Chew it. Teeth. <laughs> she doesn't listen. You get some. Right. I've got food, water, my dagger. Hey, okay, chew. Good girl. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. You're okay, sweetie. All right. Oh, very quick gremlin time. They inhaled them. But another bag bites the dust. They, they, yeah, they love the chicken sticks. They love them so much. Right, should we head on over to the wonderful tack? I'm gonna try and um, before tomorrow steal a few more things to sell, so we can get some more potions and whatnot that we need. Right, okay, we're going over to the wonderful tack. Please do give her lots of love and lots of hype. She is. Amazing. I think most of uh, most of the subs are gone now, sadly, after the shutdown, so we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> do give Tack lots of love. Um, they play a lot of e uh, Baldur's Gate, but they're playing some ESO right now. And I will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. ET for tomorrow, remember? <laughs> I'll be around the Discord as I'm getting everything 
for everything ready for tomorrow as well, so you'll still see me around. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, may the dice rolls be in our favor tomorrow. Yeah? Is that everything? I think that's yeah. everything.